Hey, I'm about to head into Tashi Station and pick up some power converters. You guys need me to get you anything? You know, crate burgers, used gaffy sticks, ancestry records. You know, find out if you're kissing your sister or anything. Nothing? All right. Blue milkshakes for everybody. I'll be right back. What's up, everybody? I am Culture Dog Sam Hatch, and this is another Star Spangled edition of the Laserdisc Wolfpack THX CAV Special Limited Edition podcast. And uh, we have a special guest who I'll introduce you to very shortly. But first, I need to pass the mic on to my man. He's the man who made the Hogan run in under 12 parsecs, or so I've heard. What's going on, Ryan? Uh, not too much, Sam. Uh, I've been partying with a bunch of carnivorous teddy bears, but uh, I'm also here with uh, a ravenous ragutus. It is a bomber from uh, pig mines in my local town. So check it out if you're in Illinois. That looks serious. How are you, Maxine? Oh, well, I am uh, located in a very swampy 92 degree area known as the laser lair. It's like Dagobah, the Dagobah over there. system. <laughs> <laughs> like it. And, uh, I'm sponsored by Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar Cherry. Didn't even know that was a thing. It's brand new. This right. sounds like three different things. Like you've got Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar and Cherry. That's that's yeah. impressive. It's very impressive. It tastes impressive. <laughs> I'm guessing to Peter. Hello, everyone. I am uh, not sponsored by anyone, but I'm sporting the uh, Conference USA champion UNT Mean Green hat Woo! here. And uh, I guess I'm back here without popular demand. It's been a while, man. Where you been? I've been here. I've been All busy right. building, right. rebuilding my system. Yeah, we're going to have to talk later. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to hear that. All right. And, so uh, I, I guess I pass it on to uh, Elia, and I hope I'm saying your name right there, buddy. Yeah, our uh, special guest, Ilya Antonovs. Thanks for joining us. Uh, and I've known yeah, Ilya since pretty much starting my channel. Like We used to kind of talk in the comments before even I was in LDF or anything like that. But So you've been in the LaserDisc how long? Quite a while, right? Uh, I first started collecting in, uh, I think, 2000, 2009. Yeah, 2009. Mm -hmm. Uh, then I stopped for a while because of family reasons, and then I fully picked up and never stopped again in uh, 2015, 2016, around that time. And you've got a YouTube channel as well with some you know, unboxings, pickups, and spotlights and things like that. So, um... Yeah, I do. If uh, I, I have time, some <laughs> free time, then I have uh, usually record a video on it, uh, of, uh, special of related to my hobbies, recent ones, and sometimes even pickups and overviews of uh, certain Laserdisc box sets. Mm -hmm. And you've actually been to Japan. Have you gone LD shopping in Japan proper? Or? Yeah, actually, the last of it, my last visit was in 2019. Uh, for, I actually uh, met uh, 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 Jay, uh, Jay Ronald uh, back there. Oh, nice. Uh, so we had a, we had a, a fun day, uh, quite a quite a blast. Talked uh, everything lace disc, uh, and I actually went to several hard offs in uh, around Tokyo yep. uh, to hunt uh, down some lace discs. But uh, well, most that's, that's the Japanese goodwill, basically, right? Like a yeah, thrift store. That's right. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the, mo the mo most things I found were pretty much. Uh, uh, very common titles, but mm. I picked up a couple ones uh, 
the ones that I know I would never import. Of, uh, so I picked up, I think, uh, uh, Eraser with Arnold Schwarzenegger because the Western copy is, of course, a notorious rotter. Yep. <laughs> uh, and uh, Bad, uh, Bad Boys, which is also a notorious mm. rotter in the West. But yep. uh, those two titles uh, went home with me. Did you find any late release genre? Nope, no <laughs> late release. I only find online, not uh, uh, not in the wild, unfortunately. It's it's probably gotten to the point in Japan where everyone's on to us now, and you, you probably can't find that stuff just floating out there like you used to. Yeah, I think I think that's the that's the case, and also hard off uh, sells online. Uh, so I think they uh, 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 look up the recent trends yeah. and try to mark up the good uh, the good stuff. Yeah, the Wild West is over, or the, the Wild The East. good stuff and probably the bad <laughs> stuff that Ryan buys. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so, do do you have a lot of laser discs? Can you find them locally at like record shops or anything? Lo- uh, locally in Holland, uh, if, which is weird because uh, Philips is from here, uh, mm. which developed laser disc. Yeah, it's but, ground zero. Uh, but, but no, it's actually uh, in Holland. It's slim picking. Mm. Uh, for usually, uh, the only place I can get laser discs is. Uh, local of uh, ebay websites similar to ebay webs out of actually uh, classified so classified oh, yeah. websites and ebay for, and and of course yahoo auctions that's where i get oh. uh, for all my discs from uh, so- i have uh, uh, for, you know, i keep my collections up to date at uh, ldb and Good. right now i am at 190 uh, f- diff- different laser discs that's individual ones and box sets Mm-hmm. What does it cost you, Ilja, Ilja, to go from Japan to Holland for, say, a player or a box of discs? Is it more expensive, you think, or less for us to get them here in the U.S.? Uh, I think it's uh, maybe a bit more expensive, but uh, for, uh, I am very picky at what I order. Uh, usually, uh, when it comes to box sets, uh, if it's a heavy, if it's one uh, box set that is more heavy uh, than two kilograms. Uh, then I order a couple of others to uh, consolidate it in one package and then ship it by sea. But uh, to my uh, great surprise, uh, uh, Bai started offering FedEx. Recently. Yeah, FedEx yeah. is just as just as cheap as, as Slowbo, right? Yeah. Yes, and so I actually used them for the first time a couple of weeks ago, and I was very pleasantly surprised. The, the best thing is, uh, for, in Holland, you have to pay uh, for. Uh, sales tax mm. if uh, the package is more expensive than 22 euros uh, but the uh, the great thing about fedex they don't charge you uh, f- uh, the f- handling fee like the uh, uh. regular post office does and uh, that saves that, that saved me a lot of money and it was actually still cheaper than uh, for to ship with them by air and get it within five days then to ship by boat and wait for two months <laughs> yeah i think ryan and i gave up on the slow boat a long time ago didn't we yeah like uh unless it's coming from some random place that like doesn't have fedex like yeah when, it, once you get them in two days there's no going back yeah <laughs> i did use a kuro neko that uh kobos has there not too long ago too that was that was wicked fat too so my, my biggest problem with Kevin Kobos was I'd order stuff and then uh, slow boat, I'd order it again because I forgot I'd ordered it by the time it came. <laughs> and then Sam would get a deal. I know. There's so much like random stuff. He'd be like, I'm sending you an Indiana Jones box. I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh, darn. Well, back then, they weren't worth $400, whatever the heck stuff's selling for now. I know. It's like just even four years ago, maybe something like that. Like, it's amazing what was you know, like, it's just a $20 thing. And now everyone's freaking out over this stuff. Well, yeah. I gave you an Indiana Jones box set. It cost $10. Yeah. Who not, cares? Not, yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> Plan- same with Planet of the Apes. Like, yeah, that wasn't, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. When that's when needed, like, especially the last year when some extra cash was needed, needed uh, at home, mm-hmm. uh, then uh, only then I usually sell a couple of uh, titles and yeah even individual titles and especially the box sets i see that people really want them yeah especially well, that's the thing they don't seem to ever go down in value so even if you have to sell them and buy them back they're still going to keep going up in value it seems. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah back to the future is hot like back to the yeah. future the it's actually if, uh, the, great back, box sets, the box set is uh, the box set is on, is on the way to me nice again. Yeah. back to the future yeah yeah for the fourth uh, time uh, i think <laughs> 
I think, yeah, I, I think I got one for 30 bucks or something like that, but I'm seeing people throw some ridiculous money at them now. I, I probably paid 40 bucks for the 4K box set. Yeah, they I got the 4K cheer. for, for $10. <laughs> nice. So they had like a pricing error on the, their <laughs> store site and eBay, and it took like an extra month to ship, but who cares? <laughs> What's with all the variants I've been seeing at the Back to the Future? I, some guy in LDF had like a like a black one and one that was kind of like silver. I was just wondering if it just got sun faded or something. Well, and, uh, I, I looked at that and the whole thing was like perfectly like silvered though. Like, so yeah, I don't know. I don't if know. Like, or maybe it was like the end of the run for the day or maybe it was one of the first runs or something. Who knows? Because it looks that kind of purplish kind of. Yeah steel kind of look on all the you know ones i see but whatever yeah uh, cool you guys want to talk about some star wars Maybe. yay <laughs> oh yeah absolutely all right cool hey. yeah i mean i don't know why it's taking us this long to do star wars on here because that's usually the number one thing to talk about with laser disc and it's the big gateway uh for a ton of people yeah you know, even though yeah you know, there's you think that still holds true though or you think it oh, yeah. seems like i don't yeah. know even what I mean, there's still always going to be people saying, you know, get Harmies or get 4K77, but there still seems to be a decent amount of people that want to get a, you know, an official copy of something close to the original theatrical prints. Um, so, yeah, so it's in threads. There's always someone that's like, ah, just get just download 4K77 or one of the other unofficial fan sourced versions mm-hmm. out there. But um, but it, it still seems to be a, a pretty big topic. So, yeah. Yeah. I figured we kind of go through and do like a show them if you got them situation. We'll kind of go through chronologically, not like with a fine tooth comb or anything like that, but just generally through all the US and Japanese ones. And then we can do a pickup at the end if anybody's got any like PAL versions or like strange out of these that nobody's ever heard of. And then we can talk about, you know, interesting side things and, you know, TV shows and whatnot. So fun. <laughs> it should be cool, right? Right. So uh, early on, I'm going to need you guys to back me up because I don't have any pan and scan Star Wars. And it it was released in the very early 80s. Ah, All right. There we go. We got some. Is it pan and scan or open mat, though? No, it's it's Panavision. So, yeah, in in the U.S. originally, not only is it pan and scan, but it's also time compressed to fit on one disc when they dropped it originally in 1982. Is that it? Those should be the most valuable these days, the ones that are all janked up. Yeah. So this is actually the CAV pre-production. Whoa, really? Yeah. What's it got? Does it have like a special like kind of writing on it? It's written on it in a pen and there's no labels on it. It's a pre-production copy. So that must be the 83 one because there's a CBS Fox on there. Or? Yes. Yeah. So that must be the, yeah, the 83 version. Wow. Yeah. And then there's an 85, I think, where they, it was yeah. CAV and like three discs for each movie or something, or at least for yeah, some well, That was the thing. Yeah. It was because it was all squeezed onto one disc. So they're like, all right, we'll actually put it on two discs. <laughs> yeah. This one, is, this one has three. Okay. Okay. So. That's the one. You're good. And the, I, the one I want to get is the, the Japanese one because it was in two discs and it has the cool old Fox magnetic video border. I'll put up an image if nobody has it. Um, it's, pre- it's pretty cool looking. So Japan dropped a couple Panda Scan ones and then, you know, the big deal was, and yeah, there were CLV ones and CAV ones, a uh, lot of different variants, digital sound. So you can go digging for Panda Scan versions for days, but you know, the big deal is when, you know, these suckers second. came out. <laughs> uh, this is the second one, obviously, but, and the OBs are over there somewhere. But the Japanese were the first to market with the widescreen releases in full CAV special collections. <laughs> um, these were the, you know, the go to ones back in the day for the hardcore. And they were, they weren't, they weren't released in the States. This was NTSC in Japan. Where's the OB? Uh, it's on, actually, if you can see. <laughs> There's just like a stack of ugly obies just sitting on top of my boxes there. I'm going to get a little like a box, you know, like uh, you know, keep your letters in and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. You know, keep your stash if you're into that sort of thing. Yeah. I'm going to put obies in there. And, so you prefer uh, less lines of resolution is what you're saying? Yeah. Well, th- these things, they take up like three, uh, like a third of the entire jacket. I know. So. It just looks so <laughs> naked, though. And yeah, it doesn't it doesn't feel complete without it yeah well trust me it's there it's back there <laughs> just sense it yeah. um but yeah i mean these these were the go-to and the, for quite some time 
you know, people were importing these even in the States. And uh, there was a bit in the 90s when they weren't the hot thing. And then, of course, since the Laserdisc groups and everything like that came about, they became hot again. And we'll, we'll kind of get into that later. But Peter, do you have all these? I do. And, and someone should explain why you absolutely positively need a video processor for those versions. Yeah, for those, absolutely. The, the image is shifted upwards on the screen. Yeah. Whoa. If you want it, if you want it centered, and you want to cover up the subtitles, video yeah, processor time. Japanese subtitles in the uh, the black bars on the bottom, which are of course huge. <laughs> so yeah, and of course I think I have a Jedi kicking around here too. I'm, I'm not a fan of those versions myself. I don't know why everyone likes them so much. Well, they the, the kind of like hot deal of hey, this is the man himself. But yeah, the hot the hot deal was is that they they didn't have DNR. They were they're kind of they're not quite groundhouse grindhouse scans, but they're raw. They're, yeah, they're raw. They're more colorful, but um, according to the THX dude, uh, they're they're too bright. So you see too much of the like garbage mats around the models and stuff like that on a properly calibrated display. So, but that also probably punches off a little bit. I don't know, but I don't. I do like this one has the cool. Um, it's got like a little bonus thing at the end that shows you the difference between uh, the letterbox and the pan and scan, and shows you what's missing, and that's. It's actually really cool. It's got a big still frame and it's got scenes from all three of the, the original trilogy. So cool. that's, that's a cool bonus, but yeah, there there's CAV and I should take them out, but you know, they have nice kind of printed inner jackets and Ooh. good stuff. But then America finally said, Hey, we should probably release them over here too. And then I don't have the original 1989 CBS Fox version. I just have the reissue. Yeah. <laughs> which essentially they look the same, but yeah, one has the Fox and Fox video and one has a CBS Fox. Um, but yeah, the deal with this is they use that same Japanese transfer, but the rumor is because as Peter mentioned, it was shifted up. They centered it again. And supposedly that's how they messed up and created the incredible shrinking aspect ratio. Cause when you watch the movie, as each kind of reel of the film goes on, the black bars get bigger and bigger, and bigger. So that's kind of uh, an interesting byproduct. And then, uh, yeah, they also drop Empire. And I always hated that Return of the Jedi has the 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 black top bar. It's not it doesn't match the aesthetics, man. Yeah, like who yeah. is the graphic arts guy? It's like, oh, let's make this one black. Like, come on. <laughs> I they know, must have just so forgotten. Weird. I know. I think because this one like came out like a year later, and they're like, ah, whatever. Nobody will remember. <laughs> Nobody's uh, ever going to care about these. The one thing I liked about this was it was this before I had any CAV copies. This had the final side in CAV, uh, so you could watch. I used to love uh, still framing when Darth Vader picks up the Emperor, and he gets hit with all the lightning, and you can see all the servos in his arm, and yeah, you could see his skull and everything light what, up in the light. Wasn't someone recently trying to claim that there's no difference between CLV and CAV? In terms of like picture quality, or I think that's what they were talking about. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's there's definitely a little bit of a I, mean, I can terms, I can see a huge difference between the two, and definitely in terms of still framing, <laughs> it's like still framing CLV even with the digital memory is yeah. But yeah, and then the freaking Technodisc thing came out, which I got to yes. show quickly because the here. the big thing that happened in the early 90s in 1993 was thx laserdisc becoming a thing and the news of the definitive collection happened then around the same time for some reason they decided to fix that shrinking aspect ratio and release this version uh which is sourced from a different scan and it's uh it looks like a grindhouse print it's even more kind of colorful and it it looks like a 70s movie which is kind of neat uh it does have a little bit more crosstalk and but uh, there's, I did a video if you want to figure out how to find out which one's a Technodisc. It's, it's just a lot of looking at the details on the back of the jacket and the mint marks and all that stuff. So I won't bore you guys. But um, so yeah, that was the, the kind of last gasp of that old series. I'm sure everybody's probably got a version of the definitive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, this was... This one is yep. actually on its for, on its way to me from Japan right now. I think ah. I think it's at the post office already. Now, yeah. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Peter. I was going to say, Ryan, does that one have the the problem with a couple seconds missing on one of the discs, the Japanese version, or is that one all good? 
That's no, good. so I've got the like special definitive with the yeah. discs, the extra discs in it. Yeah, you're jumping ahead of me, buddy. Oh, That's sorry. 1995, man. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just messing. Um, but yeah, there's this one, like Peter mentioned, is got the missing bits of uh, Empire Strikes Back because they, I don't know who was asleep at the wheel, but they cut out a little bit of uh, Princess Leia welding on the Millennium Falcon. No, I <laughs> thought some of them have it and some of them don't. Yeah. yeah, and and they uh, did re- they did uh, replacements like kind of like nowadays when people are sending replacement discs for like uh, Friday the Thirteenth Blu-rays and stuff they were doing that with these you could send in and get your defective one replaced so it's really and they did kind of keep making new pressings uh, over time so yeah you have to kind of and the, some of the Mitsubishi's have rot too so hooray if you, yeah. if, if you get the Japanese one you don't have to worry about the missing scene they're they're complete they're yeah complete. you're good. Okay. Yeah. yeah so the box was tight. Like the first pressing box, everything was too tight and like wouldn't yeah. come out easily. The weird thing too is that this is the one I got, which I thought somebody went because it has the book, George Lucas, uh, the Creative Impulse. Um, most of them don't have the the dust jacket, but mine does. And now more and more people are saying they they do have the dust jacket. I think somebody said he had a sealed copy and had the dust jacket. I always assumed somebody just replaced it from a copy they bought at the store, but because I got this from my buddy back in the day because he didn't want it on a shelf anymore because he's a fool. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so you got you to check Empire to find your missing stuff. And uh, there were um, errors in the, like the the commentary tracks were kind of bad on some of the early pressings too. So it's a beast. But yeah, in 94, Japan released it with a nice side Obi, which I don't have. And then that one has the book as well. And then... In 95, Ryan's sick one came out, which is cool because it's got what? It's got some other stuff in there, right? Yeah, it's got all three of the like uh, behind the scenes discs. Cool. And it does not have the book because reading's yeah. lame. <laughs> Watch the behind the scenes better. Yeah, oh, there, there we go. Peter, Thank Peter's you, Peter. Yeah. Peter's got the oh, 94. Yes. I had no idea this was special in any way. I thought it was just the same as the US one, but with an Obi. Cool. Basically, yeah. but not yeah, that one's no the, errors. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a nice release. And yeah, they're THX, which of course, you know, you know take that for a grain of salt. It's pre-AC3, so it doesn't have 5.1 or anything like that. I uh, ordered that one from 1-800-BIG-BILL. Excellent. Good deal. But yeah, that was the everybody was selling their Japanese special collections uh, when that came out. I remember seeing them on uh, you know discount all the time because everyone's like, screw it. This is going to be the new big thing. But now everybody kind of hates on that box a little bit because of the early noise reduction, digital noise reduction that they used on it. But yeah, it is what it is. And then um, at the same time as Ryan's box came out, which was interesting, it's almost like their counterparts. Like the, in fact, I think the, the, the PILF numbers are one apart 2070 versus 2071. (gasps) This thing came out. (laughs) Yeah. I have, uh, I have this one in my case with the other box sets. Yeah, and it's got different, you know, it's got the different artwork on on all yeah. these uh, that which was used in a lot of the European releases. And but it has uh, from Star Wars to Jedi, the making of a saga with digital audio for the first time. Mm. So as a bonus, so it's almost like they released these. These are all in CLV. It's almost like they released this at the same time. So you, you just have to buy this and the definitive box in Japan. So you could have all the making of things and yeah, you know, be fully complete. But yeah. Mm. Um, is the is the definitive collection Japanese box IRE zero Ryan like this one is? I think it is, yeah, because it seemed it seemed like I had to you know brighten it up because it was yeah. If you're calibrated for like regular NTSC, it's going to look super super dark on your television. So yeah, be prepared. <laughs> it's not just you and your eyesight's not going. You have to like recalibrate. So, um, but yeah, it's it's a nice set, and uh, I have to thank this nice guy Ryan for hooking me up with that thing. And then uh, really not that much happened except for the faces dropped, which um, they actually came out twice, which is interesting. But uh, they're called the faces because they're just THX CLV reissues of the same transfers from the definitive collection. But they uh, they have a stormtrooper on this one. I, I guess he's the star of Empire. Yeah. <laughs> And Yoda and Jedi. 
Um, they cheaped out. They didn't have the C C A V last side because they threw on a Leonard Malton interview with uh, with Lucas. So there's three installments of those, one on each. Uh, each the pictures release. of the the pictures of the gatefolds on those are the same as the gatefolds in the white uh, box set. Oh yes, you're right. Because that tripped me out when I cracked them open. I was like, wait a second, <laughs> they look the same. Uh, but yeah, but they have totally different different artwork on the outer jacket. So I probably should have mm -hmm. taken the other ones out, but, um, but they, yeah, they're not bad. And the, the cool thing about these is that um, they were originally super expensive, uh, like 60 bucks. And then a couple of years later, they reissued them and dropped the price down to like 25. And those uh, were pressed um, by Kuru Ray. And there's like little stickers on the back, usually on these suckers um, saying that the disc was manufactured in Japan but the jacket was printed in the USA, but the Korea ones are super NTSC and they're, they're pretty decent. So they used, these used to be super cheap. Uh, nowadays, you know, I don't know. You could Obviously, probably get, yeah. you could probably get ripped off on eBay. But um, <laughs> yeah, they, they were like, sealed copies. Oh, do you have the stickers on them? Do they have like the, for the last time or, Oh, you got THX. Nice. But it's sealed. They had, I think it was probably the 98 reissues that had like a little triangle and it was like, now we'll see it for the last, for the last time or something. Before the masters. The yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh yeah. There you go. Last chance. <laughs> <laughs> we swear. <laughs> yeah. And, several soup things. <laughs> and then of course, in uh, 1997, they, uh, they released the special editions in theaters and uh, shortly thereafter on Laserdisc. And I don't, I'm sure Ryan's got the Japanese box, but I just have the old. I used to have uh, the Japanese box, but I uh, sold that one and I kept the American one because I like it better. It's, it's a nice, and the picture quality is really good. Yeah. Uh, it, except for the massive also, color changes. Yeah, as as we mentioned, as you go from the Japanese special collection to this, it gets a little little kind of more steely, a little darker. Um, but it's it's a nice. I throw this on a lot when I'm just like yeah, kind of testing out a new. If you or if you didn't know kind of what it should look like, that's excellent. I love that picture. I love that sound. It's just when yep. when that blue hits you in the face, you're like, where did this come from? Why did they do this? <laughs> but uh, AC three five point one, yeah, gotta love it. It's got yeah that fake kind of leather look it's very nice so oh yeah um slipcase it's not all cav but it's still a decent amount of discs so it's you know three movies and they're all pretty long so i don't like uh, that they cheaped out like it's just loose discs inside the box like eh. i kind of like that because you can just watch from yeah. front to back the whole trilogy True. i like There's, that they the have these are, are very nice uh, extra yeah. thick uh black with star wars on it yeah that's what i really like these um i like that yeah star wars trilogy special edition polyline sleeve they're really nice looking so there's that there's also a japanese box which uh i don't have which is more well no there's the first one which is a more silver the 97 box. with the big dark fader face i used exactly. to have that box yeah oh okay it, it almost looks like this a little bit more but flipped and 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 bigger yeah it's got the yeah. flap right does it yes flap? that's right yeah yeah so i i don't have that one sadly um so that was a big deal and then yeah then later on in 2000 yep, they dropped right. this thing same one which has the episode two making up so that's like the only way to see part of episode two on laserdisc the and cool thing about to... that is you can skip it like it's go forward a chapter and you don't you know lose anything I mean, and they also almost... did oh sorry go ahead I'm so, i was gonna say we're almost elias favorite now yeah we are they also did standalone versions of the the special edition uh, in Japan. Those are I, I love the jacket art on those. Uh, they're just really classy looking. But uh, I don't have a I don't have the Obi on this at the moment. I don't, oh, so, yeah. sorry, <laughs> blasphemy. Yeah, Oof. Phantom Menace came out, and I mean this is hey, like one of the, the most that, important. That's, uh, that was my introduction to Star to Star Wars, and it, it always uh, stayed of, uh, stayed my favorite. I still don't understand the complaints about it. <laughs> That's actually that's the same thing my son says to him. The the one through three is the trilogy he grew up with, and he loves it, and he likes it better. And, and just because that's like you said, that's what he that's what he started with before he saw the other ones. And even with the original trilogy, it's I always liked in uh, How I Met Your Mother, uh, Barney Stinson, the uh, uh, Neil Patrick Harris's character is talking about the Ewok line. If you were born on the right side of the Ewok line, you were cool with Return of the Jedi. <laughs> And if you were on the other side of it, you hated it. So yeah, I had friends that were like just maybe three years older than me 
that just couldn't stand Return of the Jedi. And I loved Return of the Jedi. So mm-hmm. I can definitely see that same thing. Oh, it's the same thing with James Bond. You know, GoldenEye was an introduction for a whole generation. So that mm-hmm. movie's like way more special for people than, you know, some of the older films. So, yeah, I definitely get it. And this was the must-have disc. You know, the, the last gasp of Laserdisc for a lot of people here in the States, at least, were importing this thing like crazy. So, um, you know, paying a hundred bucks for it at the time. The first... Uh, First uh, theatrical release with uh, Dolby Digital EX with a 6.1 center channel oh, in the, the back. Surround on this uh, AC3 surround is awesome on this one. Yeah, and it's got that uh, theatrical cut on here too with the uh, Yoda hasn't been tinkered with. Um, uh, actually, of the early DVD, I also have the early DVD one. Uh, yeah. The Yoda on that one is also a puppet. And there's probably maybe like a VCD or something like that from Hong Kong. I'm, I'm guessing. <laughs> I actually after I actually am still hunting for a VCD of the uh, oh, nice. old one. Nice. So uh, yeah, so this is the yeah you know, we're, we're yeah should be amazed that this even did come out on on Laserdisc. But uh, it does have a really nice Obi. I, I wish it was on there right now. But uh, <laughs> it's mm-hmm. nice gold Obi. Um, and then yeah, then after that it was just Ryan's release was like the last thing for the original trilogy but um man yeah. like i watched star wars on that and just the the intro sequence on star wars coming into moss eisley mm-hmm. and then where han is like walking around jabba like they hadn't like fixed it uh later on where like it's a little more smoother it's kind of jerky and like his hand and like so his arms are like like disappearing into the cg it's oh, okay just, oh it's bad like and that was the first time i saw star wars in theaters and so seeing that i'm like oh yeah it was really bad and the later versions they're fixed i'm like no no no, i remember it being bad so if you if the first time you saw star wars in the theaters get the get the 2000 box or 2000 is it 2000 or 2001 i don't know i think i think it was 2000 i think but i could be wrong maybe it was 2001 yeah damn to the LDDB we go yeah Uh, late Uh, late 2000s release of uh the the last box set mm. yep. and there was a does anybody have any pal like any of the box sets or because i know spain had some uk had some uh, germany had uh, a, a nice box what do you have there <laughs> yeah even uh, yeah Hong even Kong. that i live that i live in <sighs> europe i i avoid pal releases completely i don't blame you <laughs> 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 yeah you get the speed sealed. up and yeah that is so that's hong kong yeah and i'm afraid to open it because it's sealed because i Never gonna find another one. Looks gorgeous, and that's that same artwork that's that I cool. think the Japanese standalones from the special edition era had. Yeah, but they got like the sweet Obi with them. Yeah, so is that is that one pal or is that that's NTSC? This is NTSC. That's, yeah, and supposedly there's a Korean NTSC which I have not seen, mm. and there's supposedly like a full Singapore set of all three. So, yeah, I've never seen any of them. Wow. I saw the Hong Kong one; it was on Yahoo Japan. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> no one bid on it because they probably thought it was just the Japanese one. Wow. And do any of you guys have the uh, the individual? I know Ilya's got at least one of the individual, um, like the making of, like there was the uh, at the making of Star Wars is told by C-3PO and R2-D2. Oh. Yeah, I have almost a, I have, but that's the only one I'm after, the, C3, yeah. the late mm-hmm. C-3PO. Uh, for everyone else I do have already. Ryan will send it to you. He <laughs> I don't promised. have any more of it. Like it's... <laughs> Yeah, SFX and Empire Strikes Back and Classic oh. Creatures Return of the Jedi. And they did they had a couple different standalone of the um, making of a saga too, like old analog ones. So mm-hmm. those are out there. And um the Ewok movies. Who's holding Ewok movies? I have I have the uh US one of, of battle, but I don't I didn't bring it. The I'm Japanese still, Battle for Endure is cool. I'm still hunting those uh, f- uh and when I catch them, then I watch them. I still haven't watched uh, any of uh, the Evo movies. No, I saw them when they were on TV. Anything at all. Like, you watch <laughs> the first movie though. and you want one of the main characters to die. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so bad. Yeah, I watched them both live when they aired. Uh, I'm old. I love it. <laughs> Yeah, Battle for Endor is kind of cool because it has like a little bit of uh, adventure in an imperial kind of stronghold. Not really a stronghold; it's just more like an outpost. So, plus um, it's got this guy. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's kind of cool. <laughs> I have not seen Caravan of Courage in in ages. So, um, and they didn't make any of the animated, the, no droids or um, the Ewoks animated stuff on LD, right? 
That would have been cool. Yeah. Yeah. Then I guess uh, technically this this counts as well. The THX demo, THX Wow, because it's got <laughs> some Star Wars scenes on it, yeah. um, and they made tons of different pressings of this. So, um, yeah, wow. was it? It's mostly stuff from Jedi in here, I think. But that's it. Anybody have any weird, um, strange kind of out of these or just the Hong Kong disc, which is just odd. Yeah, I, I want to cool. open it to compare the picture, but I also don't want to open it. So. I thought I saw that the Hong Kong one was pan and scan, which would be interesting if it was a mid nineties pan and scan. This one I think is, uh, is it letterbox? All right. At least according to LD. So it could be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I thought I said there was one from like 95. So maybe it's before that one. Cause is yours, yours is the special edition. Yeah. Yeah. So it's gotta be, maybe there's like a secret 95 pan and scan one. There supposedly is, uh, there's a picture of it too. Yeah. Yes. It's got the THX logo. But it's pan and scan. <laughs> There's a THX Golden Eye pan and scan, and a THX Abyss uh, pan and scan. I guess so. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and I don't think anybody has it, but the the kind of ultimate Star Wars laser disc in terms of of money was the Edit Droid Return of the Jedi disc that was being traded on eBay a couple of years ago, uh, and I think it was originally posed as dailies that people were using to edit return of the jedi until somebody pointed out that they didn't use the edit droid system and it was just it was just like a demo disc that they put together to show how you could edit from it so but still i mean it had a bunch of i think mostly scenes from dagobah with luke hanging out with yoda and uh yeah i, I think there's a youtube video i, mean, I don't know if they might have pulled it down by now but you can watch the edit droid footage but i don't know how much it went for it was a ton of money though so yeah, that's too much. <laughs> I was waiting for Ryan to like slowly lift it up. <laughs> no, I, I, I have zero design. Like I Star Wars out. Like I watched two of them this week and I couldn't even get to Jedi. How can you yeah. be Star Wars out with just two movies? Uh the new ones ruined it for me. Like not even like the the two thousand ones, the the garbage that they had coming to the theaters the past few years. I completely agree. <laughs> Still can't watch I, the old uh, ones. Though. I actually uh for uh, I went with my with my little brother uh, to to the Force Awakens. Um, we walked out out of the cinema enraged. <laughs> uh, after after that, I didn't come near the tr- the new trilogy again. I did uh, f- watched uh, the Ro- Rogue One. Mm-hmm. I do actually love that uh, that movie. Yeah, and uh, f- Solo was kind of yeah, uh, forgettable, but that trilogy i don't come near it and will never ever come near it it's not good (laughs) take that all right yeah you guys want to fight about star wars movies we should do a wolf pick (laughs) all right so this is going to be a two-parter wolf pick so first Mm -hmm. everybody gets to choose their their favorite star wars film from the laser disc era so, I mean, I guess you could throw Ewoks, Caravan of Courage in there if you want, but, <laughs> you could. Uh, but yeah, so it's going to be Phantom Menace or Empire, Return of the Jedi or Star Wars. So what's, what's your favorite, Ryan? It's got to be Empire. Like, I mean, yeah, you've got an actual director, mm-hmm. um, a storyline that's coherent. Okay. And it's still Star Wars. Like it's, it's the perfect Star Wars movie. Right. I think I know what Ilya's favorite is, but right? mm. I, f- uh, I love the original trilogy, no <laughs> questions about it, but it's still this one is going to be picked. I do like how the Obi, uh, the the Star Wars logo, like lines up with the jacket. Uh, I did my best for for it. Yeah, <laughs> because I usually if I never take the the, the jacket itself out of the, uh, out of the protective sleeve, mm. so it needs to be perfectly matched, yeah. or else I'm gonna go nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get it just right. What's your favorite, Peter? Well, I'm going to say Empire Strikes Back because there just aren't enough movies where the bad guys end up winning in the end. All right. So I, you got to love Empire and you got to love Avengers when, when, when it doesn't have a happy ending. All right. I appreciate that. What do you got, Max? Well, I have vivid memories of pulling solely Empire Strikes Back out of the special collection vhs box set that i had when i was a kid and i exclusively watched damn the snow scene over and over again just because nice. i loved the yeti like guy in the cave and the just, wampa like, he's the man i just like loved love that the whole vibe of the snow scene of that and i just i don't know why 
but as a kid literally on repeat watch the snow and scene section. And that, it's funny that whole scene seems so epic when i saw it for the first time as a kid mm-hmm. and it's it's really fast now when you watch know, it it's like luke's I, just in there for a couple minutes and i know like, chops his arm off and, I just watch just that and like that's like such a vivid memory to me it's weird yeah it really seemed like this huge build up and yeah so much tension and yeah it's super quick now luke, um, it's his ass handed to him in that movie yes. twice like <laughs> he's he sitting in that back to tank all messed up <laughs> <laughs> yeah i gotta i gotta go with empire too i normally this is the point where i'm like devil's advocate and i choose the you know the lesser known i am a big apologist for return of the jedi though i think for all the fuzzy ewoks and stuff in there there's a lot of really interesting dark stuff in there and the you know the big battle in the emperor's throne room is pretty amazing between you know luke and vader and a lot mm-hmm. of emotion in there and it's really intense and yeah so even the ewoks man, some of those guys get lit up so um <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. You look at the lightsaber sequences from back then, they still hold up. They're not like ridiculously oh, yeah. over the top, but they're yeah. still really well done. And I think yeah. now, like, they put so much into like, you know, jumping and spinning and Spins, doing yeah. all kinds of other crap. Like, no, it was, it was like a sword fight, but with swords that'll, you know, kill you, like, cut yeah. you off, burn you apart. Like, yeah, like in the, the original, you know, A New Hope Star Wars, it, it's a little slow, sluggish, you know, this, the, but yeah, by the time Empire. The Cloud City battle was like just right. Yeah. It's like a classic Errol Flynn, you know, sword fight. But yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That Good and, stuff. Uh, Obi Wan was getting a little old in the first movie. So True. Yeah. He was just not like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready for part two? All right. Okay. Here's where it gets controversial. Ooh. If you have one, what's your favorite Disney era Star Wars movie? Uh, yeah. That, that's that's a very easy pick. I think, yeah. I think we're, we're good with Ilya. Uh, hang on. I actually have three different releases of it. Wow. Uh, I have the 3D one. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the regular one. And the, uh, the one I like the most the big sleeve. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And actually, there's one other that I'm after. It's actually a Japanese exclusive hmm. uh, that came with a figure of a death tro- a trooper. Really? I haven't seen that. Yeah, the, the thing is, uh, stupid me, uh, I visited Japan uh, twice when it was already out, and I both both time, uh, times I completely forget forgot to ask for it at, the, at Hard Off, because usually they have them, and I completely forgot if I forgot about it, so I have to use the net, uh, will have to use the net to get it. Yeah. What do you got, Ryan? Anything? It, it's, it's Rogue One, because it's the only one that feels like Star Wars. Like, I, I guess it's because they had a coherent storyline they had to follow, so they couldn't screw it up. Mm-hmm. Couldn't Kathleen Kennedy it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What do you got, Peter? I have no... I've seen every one of those of once in the theater with my son, probably. I've got them all sitting back there on Blu-ray or 4K. They're ripped onto my uh, hard drive, but I've never watched them at home. <laughs> So there's there's too much good stuff to watch. Why would so you they're watch all your stuff? favorite. So yeah, you there you go. Good call. <laughs> what about you? You've been watching them at all, Max? Or well, I did see at least one of them. I absolutely do not remember which. I saw well, it, it your at the Cinerama Dome. Oh, nice! And it was really fun to see a Star Wars movie at the Cinerama Dome. But I just don't. Re- I mean, yeah. I the how they're many very movies? forgettable, aren't they? <laughs> they're, oh, God, they're I awful. mean, I just like. I don't know, understand the order of it. It got very confusing to me. And then I was like, I don't know where these fit. And I'm just like, it's it still kind of feels like Star Wars. I was just like, it, it never really like didn't stick with me. The one that I did like, and I, I did see it in theater. I saw Solo yeah. and I did really like that. Yeah, so I'll, I, I actually remember like scenes of it. So I'll go with that. <laughs> I, yeah, I like, remember the, the dude from Girls kills Han Solo. That's about all I can recall from any of those movies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I got my Tumblr. There you go. The Kylo Tumblr. Yeah. <laughs> Don't judge me. Uh, yeah, I got to go with Rogue One also just because, yeah, it's it's a mission movie. It's like a cool Dirty Dozen type mission movie, but Star Wars version. And because Mandalorian isn't a movie and I can't pick that. So it's And true. they all die in the end. Like What? Spoiler alert. Come on, Luke. <laughs> Literally, if you've seen... You know, any Star Wars movie, you know this. Like, yeah, not a surprise. All right. Well, good. Good choices, everybody. Uh, I mean, 
it was probably going to be Rogue One across the board, anyways. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> let's do some uh, recent spins in case you watched anything over the past uh, couple weeks or you know, whenever. Months. Yeah, months. <laughs> Mine will be pretty quick because I've been mostly uh, watching one thing. I have to get all these damn Star Wars discs out of the way first. Pardon me. Uh, oh, here's Video Essentials. Actually, yeah, that did watch Video <laughs> Essentials. <laughs> In fact, it's still downstairs. Otherwise, I'd be showing it. So, you know, the, the, that Amish guy is always excited when he gets off the escalator. Yes, fruit um, cart, girl on a bike. But I did watch this. You guys are going to be surprised because I'm always talking about Yellow Magic Orchestra. Uh, but it's actually a movie. This is like there, the wall mixed with like a little bit of um, Led Zeppelin song remains the same because it's got like movie storylines about each member. You can hear Takahashi looks like such a badass there. He's just like ready to kick your ass. So um, like work vibe and stuff. Yeah, they, they, they definitely have a craft work back. But yeah, vibe. And it's got this like just cool thing where they're like building this funky stage out in the middle of nowhere and there's this little kid who's going to see them and it kind of mixes in you know like metallica's through the never it mixes in like storyline stuff with stage footage of them actually playing and uh the kid like ends up throwing a molotov cocktail on the stage and burns it all down at the end so it's pretty badass so uh, <laughs> this is the older release i think they both look almost identical except for maybe the ob's different uh they released it in digital later this actually has a little uh uh, not for sale and i think it's a sample in katakana there so um, but yeah this is the old analog one but still look look decent enough i fried this up on the c2 ex and um everything else i've been watching is uh freaking mobile suit gundam the original yes. uh 1979 so i i just finished um box one which is where does it say yeah part one there's wow. up like 22 23 episodes on each of these box sets and so and it's got like slip covers within slip covers i know i showed this in a previous episode but i might as well just show the gatefold since i don't have any other movies <laughs> no subs on that no subs uh i raw dogged it i don't have any gen locks but you know what i would do is i end up watching the episode and then after it after maybe like two or three episodes i'll go there's a wiki where it's got a full synopsis of everything that happens in every episode so mm -hmm. i'll kind of just kind of watch it and just soak it in and then I'll just go catch up and find all of the, the kind of little details about like what people were arguing about that I missed and stuff. And after a while, it really starts to, it just kind of becomes like second nature. You start figuring out what's going on even easier. So, um, but yeah, the gatefolds on these things are gorgeous. Um, that's Char Aznaval. He's like kind of like one of the quote unquote villains, but he disappears for a big chunk of the show. And that's, yeah, the Gundam slicing this mobile suit in half which is badass and yeah they're all gate folds and they have you know kick ass yeah right ups inside uh what's uh part two and three and then yeah there's like a bunch of story arcs and everything within it like part of it's like about you know this guy and then he ends up just getting wasted spoiler alert so don't get uh don't get used to him and then finally does he fly around in a ship like a, a boat in the sky well, yeah, there's a uh, there's this, which is uh, the big base that everybody, all these dudes are all kind of in. It's interesting because it's a, a it's a you know war movie essentially, and it's Earth, it's it's a reverse Elysium. Like Earth is the cool place, and they have all <laughs> these outer space tanks, you know, these colonies out there where they kick everybody off to, and then one of the colonies ends up revolting and kind of uh, determining that it's going to wage war against Earth. And so then, then like years later, like this story all happens and uh, a lot of it takes place on earth. And yeah, this is a ship and it's a bunch of like young people and kids and stuff pretty much forced to go to war. So it's, it's nuts. Cause it's a, a kid show looking to sell toys and stuff like that, but it's really heavy. It's like, you know, dealing with PTSD and you know, the main the hero kid, Amaro, he's like just forced to fight all the time. Cause he's the one that knows how to fly the, the big robot. And it's like, he wants to sleep and these dudes are always like fighting and retaliating. And yeah, there's a bit where he even goes AWOL for a bit. Cause he's like, screw you guys. I'm getting <laughs> out of here. Um, so it's, it's really heavy and intense. And like a lot of, you know, Japanese anime shows, they'll, they'll kill off major characters, you know, in the, in the middle of a series. So, so he we went to Canada for a while. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> screw this, man. So yeah, that's it. That's it, man. I didn't watch a couple other things, but it's related to future episodes. So I don't want to spoil those. Uh, what about you, Ryan? 
So uh, I did watch uh, Star Wars and Empire. And I watched like the newer versions because I, I have these boxes that I've never watched. And I, I grew up, I loved Star Wars. And then I watched Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, and uh, whatever the third one, Revenge of the Sith. Uh, and it just kind of ruined it for me. And the, <laughs> the magic's never come back. Like, I don't know, maybe I just grew up. It's probably part of it. But hey, you never no, grew like, up. I, I know the boring. movie front to back. Like, I, I, I know what's coming next, but. Uh, man, the I, just, guy. I, I, wa- I don't want the special effects. I don't want the special editions. Like after watching them, I'm like, oh, this is this is hard to do. Like uh, the, the extra scenes, the extra CG, uh, Greedo shooting first and whatever God awful thing they've done now. <laughs> a um, clunky. Yeah, no, clunky yeah. uh-huh, <laughs> no, that's the stupidest thing. Yeah. And like, it's just it's hard. But uh, so I watched those. Uh, I, I watched the white box one and then the, the 2000 release. And they both look really good. They really do. The 2000 release, the, it, it's just a great release. If you really want, you know, the final version or that was your version of Star Wars, go for it. But uh, otherwise, you can get an earlier one. Maybe not the ultimate box, but, you know, something. Yep. So, but uh, then I watched... Uh, to the death. Oh my gosh. Uh, laser blazer. Incredible. Laser blazer with the original sticker. It was sealed. It was like original stock of his. It's like if your dad was in a fighting movie. I'm not going to lie. Right. Like it was, it was okay. It was good. Like the fighting sequences were good, but like the movie's starting and the guy's retiring, which is not a surprise, but it's like that guy looks like he's like older than Peter. Hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, the, the fighting's good. It's got a nice uh, rap sequence intro because it's 1990s Ooh. canon. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, it, it ends well. So uh, all in all, it's pretty much like rehash of any other fighting movie. It's like an underground fighting ring that he has to go into. And there's <laughs> money involved and they're killing people. And, you know, all of the good things about uh, fighting movies. So, Are there any slumlords that they have to fight? Uh, there's just so. random, like the one thing I don't get is where do they get all these like awesome fighters if they're always killing them? Like, <laughs> where do they keep coming from? Like, it's like, oh, you know, I'm gonna win that or die. Like, yeah, you think there'd not? just be five guys after a while, maybe three. Yeah, that's yeah. where Highlander comes in. Yeah, and then I got one more I want to talk about, and it's Bowfinger. Oh, uh, yeah. flex. Amazing. Like, I, I'd never seen, I'd seen bits and pieces, but yeah, I never sat down and watched it. It's hilarious, and I feel like it flies under the radar because people want, like, the last of something or whatever. This movie is great. A- Eddie Murphy steals the show. Like, Steve Martin's good. Eddie Murphy's great. And the yeah, ending, he plays two guys, so it's yeah. pretty cool. Did, did Steve Martin ever age a day in his life? I think no. he started old, like Peter old, and stayed there. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Second dunk in a row. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Damn, we but, need Vinny here to spread the love. The, the ending of both It's my own fault. It is so great because, like, it, it ends with a, basically like some rip off Hong Kong fighting sequences. And, yeah. uh, you know, maybe that'll lead us into another show at some point. So and there's like jabs at Scientology in there, and it's fun, man. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a blast. Like, track it down if you can. If not, yeah. you know, there, I heard that there's DVD copies. What? Oh, really? I know, I know. So, and I, mean, I definitely don't have one. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, how about you, Max? Okay. I have two, only two to show. Ooh. Um, because also, another topic was what a lot of my spins were <laughs> recently. Fair enough. So, I was uh, working on a player, and this is my go-to tester disc. Nice so widescreen. I have, yes. I, if, if you have any extras of this, just send them to me because I... I don't I even have one. More. I should get one. I need more copies of it. <laughs> Always testing players with it. I, I don't know how many copies of big I have. Probably like more than six for sure. Mine's Cliffhanger. I've watched the side one of Cliffhanger so many times. <laughs> it, it helps. Test and it really test. Yeah. Yeah. It helps to just know what that's supposed to look like, what it's supposed to sound like. Really exactly. Helps. Yeah. This one I watched also. Oh, nice. This is like one of my favorites. Um, it is super freaking bizarre and it is really good. Yeah. All just animation and like some is claymation and some is kind of like um like 
photocopy, I guess you could kind of call it. It's kind of unique and interesting, but um, yeah, the animation ones are always interesting for putting on in the background while I'm Is, working on players with big and not listening to it. <laughs> are there others in that series? Cause I've seen that kind of style. Right yeah. On the front. I, I think I have at least uh, two or three others that have that same animation on the top. All right. That's what I was wondering. I should look yeah. into getting those at some point. Cause sure. I have the, what the Plimtoons and the, what the uh, spike and Mike kind of stuff and just oh, yeah. good animation stuff out there. Yeah. No, they're really, I mean, they're, you could put almost any music to them. They're just fun. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Just those guys. Well, just those two. Cause I have other right. things I can't show yet. Secret so. stuff. <laughs> Secret <laughs> All right. stuff. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're yeah. working on another podcast and it needs a little more, you know, research and, there's a lot of things to talk about, but so, yeah. so we started a little early. We yeah. figured we could watch Star Wars and talk about that because yes. if you haven't seen Star Wars yet, Star Wars, yeah, you're probably missing out on a lot of life. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What about you, Peter? Do you watch uh, Laserdisc now or? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. all four K. I've, I've watched a dozen or so since the last time I've been on. Probably. I know one you just watched the other day. Well, that's probably going to come up. I watched. Yep. Twelve Monkeys DTS. Nice. I actually got kind of frustrated because it had rot in the middle, so I had to switch over to uh, Did it. HD DVD for a few minutes and then come <laughs> back to this like on the next side. Is actually, it Kure? A, um, I don't know. Oh, not rot. I'm sorry. Uh, it's warped. Oh, cross talk, okay. Cross talk. Yeah. I was going to say, damn. It's, I, I don't know if this was one of the ones that I got a few years ago in Goodwill, but a lot of those I, I've had to flatten out because they were... Uh, yeah, the ones you sent me were are the... Goldeneye, I think, was yeah, it's actually okay now, but yeah, like it was like a little, yeah, I, little had, to warpy. Flat, I had to flatten a bunch of those out. Yep. Got the, that's the one I was thinking of. <laughs> Death Wish three. Yeah. Well, my wife and I are basically empty nesters now. Two kids in college, they're they're back now, but they've been gone. So we try to watch movies that have three or four in a series, so that we can we basically watch a movie every night. So I I pulled out the the Bruce Willis one one night, and she found it just stupid enough that it was entertaining. Yeah. So I, I talked her into the first couple of, and we watched those on Amazon prime. And she said, why aren't we watching the laser discs? That's so the I, question. I, I, yeah. I, I always thought these were uh crappy pan and scan, but apparently it's open mat. Oh, yeah, this yeah. thing Ooh. is, this thing yeah. is this, it's got a really nice picture on this one. Yeah. No problem with it all uh, analog only. So I actually had to go dig in for cables and hook that up to get the sound. That's going. old. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. But really nice picture. And uh, here's another one you'll appreciate. Yeah, we were talking Sound about this yeah. music. <laughs> I, I, I honestly had no idea there were Nazis in this movie. Yeah, it, it went from <laughs> frolicking around in the meadow, dancing around. Yeah, you never got that sudden, from the cover. Yeah. yeah, and then all of a sudden they're running from Nazis. Yep. I can't I just, watch musicals. I really can't. That's why really? I never seen it. It is. It is. Uh, it's weird. It was tough for me for a while too. Yeah, what just because it's so Park? jarring. Oh, South Park doesn't count. <laughs> South Park's a musical. That's a musical. Yeah. It is. Oh, it is, but it doesn't count because it's cool. <laughs> and then this is a very, very nice looking laser disc. I got this yes. one from uh, oh, yeah. Mikey Flex. several years back. Billy so, Bob's the man. Freaking James Vanderbeek's the man. Yeah, yeah right? Well, well, maybe in 1990, whatever that was. Vanderbeek forever, man. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's the ones I pulled out that I've watched recently here. That's cool. You been watching any uh, discs lately, Ilya? Yeah, I did. Uh, for the ones I pick up, I usually watch the same day. Oh, cool. Uh, this one of my recent mm, pickups. Wow, nice. Like oh. this. Nice. Yeah, I never see that on LD. Bobby uh, D. I've uh, stumbled upon it and decided uh, to win it because, mainly because it's a late release, but also yeah. I remember the movie vaguely. Yep. But then I watched it. Uh, it's uh, much more fun. Now I've grown up uh, a bit more. What year is and, that? Uh, what? What year? Uh, 99, I think. Uh -huh. Okay. And mm -hmm. the picture quality on this one is, uh, it knocks it out of the park. Yeah, I can imagine. So that's uh, this, uh, a really good one. Uh, then I recently picked up a DTS version oh, yeah. of Hercules. Nice. Rad. The only problem is I cannot watch DTS movies because my player only has AC3. Oh, no. <laughs> and I still need to get a hold of a, of a simple player that has an optical toss link out. Yep. Uh, still working on it because the uh, players here in Europe are becoming far and uh, 
far and too far between. They're pretty yeah. much uh, on obtainium. <laughs> yeah, everyone's and, fighting for the same players. Yeah. What player do you have that doesn't? That's got AC three out but no digital. Uh, it's enough. Uh, yeah, it's a pioneer for karaoke one. Okay. Uh, I ref- I forgot the model number, but I have that. I had that player for years. The the machine works great. It's dual sided. It also plays video CDs if I want to. Uh, but uh, for, yeah, the only thing it doesn't have optical. That's uh, the uh, or coaxial. That's a uh, uh, that's the only drawback. Yeah, when I had the 504 and the 505, it was the same thing. It's like, yeah, yes. AC3, mm-hmm. but <laughs> that's it. So this one also uh, arrived just ah, as... Yes. Speaking of Vinny. Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, this is the first time I watched it. I saw a small a snippet of it on TV, <laughs> I think uh, over 15 years ago. So this was the first proper uh, spin of the movie. And yeah, it was... Uh, it's. Uh, Mel Brooks uh, type of movie, type of a spoof. Uh, it's a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> and then a couple of, um, uh, I don't have much music lace discs, only a couple, but uh, it's the ones I've, I really like to turn on uh, once in a while just to enjoy the music. Uh, it's, of course, the legend, Tina oh, Turner. Nice. Yes. Uh, I was I like, hoping that was Iron Maiden. <laughs> <laughs> And there's another of like, uh, I'm a big electronic music uh, mm-hmm. nut, especially trance, techno. And oh. a f- couple of years ago, I was looking around if a- any of the, of that was ever released on Laserdisc. Mm-hmm. Well, in Japan, something like that was, and it's this. It's a legendary club that no longer exists in Tokyo, Juliana's Tokyo. Uh, it's uh, late 80s, early 90s, techno, electro. Oh. Uh, it's for me, it's amazing. A and the picture, the picture quality is great. It's kind of a, like a, f, uh, a live record, a f, uh, live mixed recording of the f, of one of the nights at the club. Cool. Ooh. With different uh, with different artists. Uh, for, uh, if you can get hold of this one, uh, get it. It's far up. It's uh, knocks. Of, it's awesome. Uh, f, uh, especially if you into techno, electro, trance. Do you uh, uh, take uh, any enhancements before you watch that? <laughs> no, no? I'm, not, I'm not one of those kind of guys. <laughs> no. That jacket art is great. What's the yeah, back look like? Right. Oh, oh yeah. damn, that's cool. The building actually, uh, the funny thing is inside there is a free ticket uh, to, to the club. The club no longer exists. It was, uh, it existed huh. in, the, uh, in the years when uh, Japan was pretty much swimming in money. Yeah. And if, uh, the building is still there. So uh, yeah. with all this uh, uh, coup, uh, corona nonsense is over, uh, then I will, of course, go there and uh, just take a picture with the ticket. Yeah, like, bring your ticket. <laughs> uh, I'm off. I'm off 20 years too late. <laughs> so, Ilya, that, that's called the podcast effect. That disc just doubled in value. Yeah, right. Everyone's going to be looking on eBay right now. <laughs> It's and uh, cool. yeah, the last one, the last one that I spun because it's also arrived uh, not for not too long ago. It's the classic creatures, Return of the Jedi. Oh yeah, awesome. Uh, if uh, I have now pretty much all of those special editions, and it's really enjoyable to watch, especially because the narration is done by the main actors. Mm. Yeah, uh, that's for, cool. And it's amazing to see how all those uh, practical effects has been done compared to current CGI. Yeah. Yeah. So much rubber. <laughs> so no. many monsters. Yeah. yeah. Lots of latex. Yeah. So those That's were cool. uh, so those were my re- my recent spins and most of my recent pickup pickups. Excellent. Yeah, we're gonna do um we're gonna do pickups too. So if you have anything, yeah, oh, show yeah. it. Um, and uh, let me grab my stack here. We'll get this uh, going. All right. Uh, I got a couple that I didn't get to show the last. I think they just rolled in the day I did the last one. We're gonna keep it Gundam again. Uh, I got Char's Counterattack. This is a you can get this for four dollars everywhere in Japan, but uh, it does have a nice vellum kind of like see-through uh, translucent obi there. Uh, I did have a copy of it, so I forgot to get it. There's two versions of this. I think this is the reissue. It's got digital sound, so uh, you know, same dude that was on the cover of that other one with that crazy kind of gold helmet, but he looks a little bit different because this was you know many years later, late '80s maybe, and. Some more anime stuff. 
Macross 7, the movie, the videos. I still haven't watched this yet. I got to watch all the Macross 7 stuff. I know it's a hit or miss with Macross fans, but I figured I'd uh, get get them all. Got to catch them all, right? <laughs> that. Then a box came in courtesy of Seth via Ryan, which is cool. Uh, Seth sent some discs my way, and then Ryan stuffed in some contraband of his <laughs> own and then had to... to I, you know, send Seth's contraband, which was maybe of the chocolate variety. <laughs> Something you're going to watch Elias disc with? <laughs> no, I, I'm just high on water, baby. <laughs> um, a couple of bubblegum crisis uh, oh. discs that uh, Animago came out with here in the States. Um, yeah, I got this guy. Too, so I'm, <laughs> I'm missing a couple, so I got to get those. But yeah, I love Animago stuff because they have these huge write-ups on the back, and they give you all these production notes. Those have and... subs too, don't they? Animago. Yeah, yeah. These are the the uh, U.S. ones, so you can actually you can know what the heck's going on. So <laughs> the other thing I like about the ones is I am slowly learning Japanese, so I do like watching Gundam and everything in just Japanese because it kind of forces me to listen a little bit more and kind of pick up words. And I'll I'll be kind of hitting my phone every once in a while, like kind of figuring out what what is that word because they say that a lot. Yeah. And uh, Luke uh, sent me a couple things uh, randomly. A uh, copy of Wizards. I think this is a 3M one, so it's you know, it got a little bit of speckling, but you know, classic Ralph Bakshi action. You know, old. Uh, I think it's got a awesome. Yamano Music uh, bag on here. That must have been from some Japanese release, but yeah, nice release there. And um, what else? Ryan sent some nonsense, including my favorite. Tony Zarendast film, Werewolf. Yes. <laughs> Which I haven't watched yet, but it is my favorite Tony Zarendast film. How many Tony Zarendast films do you have, Sam? Um, oh, he also <laughs> sent me The Sword and the Sorcerer. Uh, you know, high quality uh, movie that that is in no way as exciting as that artwork. Uh, <laughs> no, no, well, I, I think it is. <laughs> okay, maybe. Maybe I'm mistaken. It's been a while since I've seen it. And um, my favorite... Uh, favorite film of all time starring jennifer aniston leprechaun yes uh, he's gonna steal your pot of gold oh. or don't steal his pot of gold he'll kick your butt i <laughs> uh, did also get some you gotta get some evil dead discs so i got return of the evil dead which is Ooh. actually not related to sam raimi's evil dead it's the second in uh amando de Osorio's, uh you know follow-up to uh, tombs of the blind dead this is also you know known as what return of the blind dead or something to that effect but this is uh sadly just the same as it is on the dvd it doesn't have the original uh, spanish dialogue it's just got an english dub but it's it's a fun movie it's very night of living dead but mixed with like kind of there's like an old uh kind of festival going on in this town and oh. yeah everyone's kind of trapped in a hotel for part of the movie so it's got a kind of a old world charm to it and uh, it's got you know, killer elite action mm-hmm. shout out to Bronclieri. Yeah, man, Vinny Boncalari hooked me up with so much elite stuff. Sadly, I didn't get this one from him, but uh, you know, he sold me you know, my copies of Evil Dead 2, The Blood Red, and the CAV Evil Dead box. And Oh, yeah, speak of the devil, I, I didn't have a copy of Evil Dead 2, uh, the second <gasps> yes. digital audio reissue with um, with Obi. So I grabbed that uh, just because yeah, you need it, right? And horror yeah. discs are getting ridiculously <laughs> overpriced nowadays. Yeah, so. I, I've uh, seen that. Especially the uh, the worse the pressing, the more rot prone it is, the more people want to pay for it. So. 100%. <laughs> yeah, it's just exactly. you read Friday the 13th. Oh, my God. oh yeah. So uh, that's about it. I got some other things, but I'm saving it for that secret thing we've been talking about. What do you get, Ryan? I got a, I got a few things. Uh, first and foremost, as I try to get the video set right, <laughs> I got a nice Eric Estrada for Peter. Nice. Injustice. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's also AIP. So uh, you got image and AIP. So you're guaranteed a huge budget. That's why they got Eric Estrada. Yeah. And a great plot and probably lots of guns. So yeah. Eric Isn't that Estrada. also known as Death Wish 6? It could be. <laughs> I, I haven't seen it yet. So also known as Suspiria 5. <laughs> and I got some uh, foreign Broterians here. We got uh, oh. Gary Busey's The Chain. This one's uh, uh, Indonesian. That's wow. about the food He Max definitely on, right? dies, doesn't he? I, I, we're going to have to find out. He dies in every movie. Two he, profiles of freaking Gary Busey on the cover. That's incredible. Yeah. He will never like, break the chain. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of, lot of Busey. 
I love it. It's <laughs> a whole uh, lot of UC. I had picked up the US one and forgotten that I'd also got the Hong Kong Midnight Fear. So Is that David Carradine? Oh. Of course it's David Carradine. Don't you guys all have Midnight Fear or two copies? No? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Is this the point when your wife said another laser disc or I just, <laughs> you've seen my garage? We're long past that. <laughs> And then uh, I, if, if looks could kill, this is a Hong Kong only thriller from like 1986. Man, that looks bootleggy. Look at yeah, that. So you might need to put Seth's face over this. Yeah, let's let's little, do it anyways. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My favorite part of the show. But uh, yeah, this one I found on eBay of all things. And uh, I think it's kind of like a horror, but see, they did it for us over there. But Oh, yeah, they did. But uh, yeah, it's a Hong Kong only. So I, I have no idea what to expect. Wow. I'd expect then, the best movie I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Hong Kong only, well, the Scorpio factor. I, I'm sure that the cover is probably better than like what? the rest of the, the movie, but what's going on even. What so is she's the sitting, this, this is her leg going this way. Yeah. And she's like, you know, oh my, turning I'm sideways. So I'm like seeing see. like a straight up pregnant belly, and I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, no. <Like> <laughs> That's the Scorpio oh, that's factor. The, no, that's the, the next the, one. That's her leg. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it, it's okay. The back is even better. Oh my like gosh. A, some like acrobatic sword thing going on. <laughs> I, I don't know. Is that just like a blank space where a barcode oh. would go? Probably. The bottom? Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's the only version, believe it or not. Like there wasn't what? a huge release. No THX? <laughs> no, not this time. <laughs> All right. Uh, Rage of yes. Vengeance. Yes. Uh, so this the is a Singapore version. Apparently there's a US image release that I've never seen. That I, I don't know if it exists or not. Ooh, we're getting some cool color off my Is that yeah, 1980s that or 90s? Uh 90s. Yeah. I love how the yeah. 90s that guy looked was like a badass. Oh yeah. He was. Like the he spaghetti is. armed guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh rolling on Don the Dragon Wilson in Night Hunter. There's a so US good. version of this, but this is the Indonesian version. What's and going on with it? He's like grinning, his hair is flying. Oh, he's running from the explosion, you know. Oh, you yeah. okay. explosions. Ryan, where do you hunt down those? those, those? <laughs> we ask him this every him. time. They find I, I got some people, and I, I I put a lot of work into it. And sometimes I just get lucky and find them yep. locally or wherever else or trade. Yeah, yeah Ilya's going to Hong Kong. He should, he should get you some discs. Yeah. Uh, Ilya, remember when you discovered like Bai to find him in Japan? He's got something. He's way past that. And he's going to different <laughs> countries now. Transcended. <laughs> um. Never say die. Wow. This is Ivan Drago. Uh, this is it, it says <laughs> Billy Drago on the cover. Doesn't look like him. But that's Frank Zagarino. <laughs> so they knew anyone but you know the friends. Well. Oh, I know Billy Drago. But uh, this is an Indonesian version, and I believe that there's another like uh, U.S. or some other country version. But I've never seen it. Like that's the only one I've ever seen. Like, some of these, like they're just so obscure, or they were rented and thrown away, or something. <laughs> uh rolling on fugitive x which is a indonesian only david hebner wow so uh yeah just ridiculousness and thankfully like i i now have sleeves for everything i had a bunch of stuff in a pile that like needed sleeves and everything so yeah it's great but like look at he just got explosions he's diving away from something (laughs) from a mist Couple, couple more uh Dead Badge? Wow. It's a Malaysian. So I don't know if we've shown up any Malaysian discs, but this is Malaysian. It has a Malaysian (laughs) country on it, uh, company, and it's starring Olympia Dukakis. Oh, all right. No, it is not. Come on. (laughs) I'm not joking. (laughs) Of Moonstruck fame. Yes. I don't know if like she's the only name that was recognizable in the market, (laughs) but like, I mean, probably. Who's the guy with the gun? Who's that guy? Yeah, is she even on the cover? Yeah. No, That's she's not even like Bob that. Drago. <laughs> yeah. Chad Drago. No. It's like that um, mute witness movie where they conned Alec Guinness into like driving up a car for like a day and like they're like starring Alec Guinness. <laughs> exactly. So there's where like you have the Indonesian label. Yeah. Wow. Or, or Malaysian. Oh, Malaysian. Malaysian. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, I, I I've never gotten anything like that. And need then some Laotian discs next. I'm I'm gonna mess with you guys. This is an Australian NTSC. Nice. What? Jimmy uh, Khan. And it's Pam's game. Lambert. 
So there's a French version and there's a Hong Kong version that are letterbox, but Australia got a pan and scan version. <laughs> it's Warner Brothers. So huh. I don't know what was going on. Like I can't find any information on it. It feels or seems like it's almost like a bootleg. Wow. It's so like it's so plain and generic. Nice. Who pressed maybe, it? Japan? Maybe it was legitimately pressed. So if yeah. any of our Australian Australian people can tell us if like these were actually pressed there or not. Yeah, maybe Charlie knows. I don't yeah. know. We'll find out. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so the Australian NTSC. Then we'll come back to the States. Yes. Rick Hill of Death Stalker fame, Fast Gun. Blink yeah, that's yeah. that's 90s action right there. That is all the way to the brim. He's got a badge too, but it's not hey, a dead badge. Ilya, he, he gets this many every two weeks, just FYI. <laughs> yeah, and we just all shake our heads. <laughs> the right, this one, all right. We're yes. getting almost normal. So yeah. I thought I had that's a regular the one. That's the one I recognize for the first, yeah. the first one I recognize. <laughs> I didn't have a quest, like I didn't have the regular one. Like I don't either. Three, but uh, no I never had one. Yeah, same here. And then uh I, yeah. I got this from Seth. Thank you, Seth. Oh, yeah. Seth Great. via Germany. So it was easier to send it to Japan to Seth. Germany to Sweden to you. Yeah. I'm oh, sure you, probably you, went four other places. And then this you one ordered that six in, months ago or oh, at least oh, nice. THX squeezage. Yeah. Bad. So I had wanted this for a while. And yeah, yeah. You and everybody. Were, I was yeah. able to find yeah. it not, <laughs> not in an auction. So that was nice. All right, all right. So private seller. So that was really cool. And I didn't have to pay what people are paying now because uh, that one's gotten dumb. But so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that that's that's what I found. Just a couple 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 oh, that's commons, all. you know. Yep. How about you, Max? Well, um, I'm debating on what to show first. Hmm. So, because I have some pretty uh, freaking cool things to show. Yeah. Um, I'll show. What laser one? It's a little skinny Ooh. one. This is the only one I have. That's, that's Sony. Sony. Sick. Now this has probably the coolest clasp of them all. It's this little metal one, and it's just black. Oh, yeah. What's the deal with the Laser 1? Was that like an actual like sure. industrial player or something? I got to look into that. No, oh, we got to find this out. Yeah, it's almost like you would go to sell the player, and you'd bring like your demo disc in that box or yeah, something. Yeah, right? Or to yeah. do a laser disc player salesman? Yes. Yeah. Would you I'm like a vacuum really cleaner and a laser yeah. disc player? <laughs> <laughs> and some encyclopedias. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and I have I sent the photo already to Sam, so he can yep. superimpose it here. But Bling. yep, we'll, uh, I'll hold it up. Yep. So it's a um, it's a Sony player that is a receiver with a built-in laser display. Yeah, nice. yeah, it's that is cool. it's wild. Um, I am uh, I am contemplating painting it. Yeah, don't could look ruin that. Come on, man. Peter's don't gonna ruin that. It's a one table. of a kind thing. Are you gonna, are you gonna <laughs> paint it's one of a pink? kind. Please It'll don't. be even more one of a kind. It's a karaoke model. This is All my right. dilemma. Okay. Yep. Like, is the uh, maybe this is poll worthy? And should I paint it? It's a Sony. Are you sure you want to take it apart? Oh no, Sony. <laughs> ain't. That's what I mean. It's it is a Sony, and it is a yep. karaoke model, right? Does it even All work? Right. Yeah, have you, have so you turned it on? It does. It it will eject and everything, but there's something up with the spindle motor, I think. Oh, so. okay. Yeah. Uh, good. I'm not Ilya, shocked. Ilya, yeah. you're a little behind the times here. We're all Team Sony. Except for Ryan. <laughs> Ryan's the holdout, right? No, I just say. This, this is my first time. got a three year old. <laughs> you don't want him to look at it and break it? Yeah. Right, well, we should put the pole up then. Should Max yeah, we'll paint the Sony? Yeah. Should I paint it? Should I not paint it? So it's a receiver. With the lasers player built in, yeah. but it's a karaoke model and it is a Sony. And that and whole like display two strikes, two quote unquote strikes against it. That's cool. I like that like little display. That whole thing lights up there. Yeah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll actually send you a photo of it. With All right, cool. Well, because it actually says LD on the screen, which is Dang. really like I just love that. So, okay, and now I'm about to blow everybody's minds. I swear, uh -oh. this uh -oh. is the one right here. This is the one. All right. Ooh, woman red, baby. But. What's what the is Jig what, what <laughs> it's is a jigsaw say? puzzle. Huh? What? What? It's a gosh darn jigsaw puzzle. Whoa. <laughs> double sided, even. It's double sided. Well, this part is the mat. Oh, so snap. Would, All right. Pop this whole section out. Yep. 
And okay, I see it now. Puzzle back together inside this. That Sony will play that. Yeah, yeah. I will. <laughs> I just like I can't even believe this is real. Damn, it's yeah. a freaking puzzle. I was all about the Kelly LeBrock when that movie came out. Oh, I, know. I was gonna say, is that the weird science person? Yeah, it is. Nice. <laughs> Did all those Are not you... end up in the trash? Like, yeah. I know. <laughs> it's not just, for sale. I know. This is like it's real laser disc cover feel. Like it's an actual yep. laser disc cover, and it's the same size as if it. Like you wouldn't. You wouldn't know any different, like until you pulled it out, and you're like, "Damn, that's a jigsaw puzzle." <laughs> now the question is, did they make more for different movies? Or no, this did is you add it to LEDB? I will actually. Will, will Julian let you add a laser disc puzzle? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna have to add a little icon for a puzzle. It's <laughs> a puzzle, puzzle piece. <laughs> promotional puzzle. Yeah. Disc does not play. There you go. <laughs> it's made of cardboard <laughs> without a Sony. That's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> without a Sony. That's okay. crazy. I know that would really just it blew my mind when I saw that. I just oh, oh had to have it. Okay. Now it's some regular this. What do we have? Regular ish. I mean cat time. Cat time. All right. Cat time. This is I got a lot of questions. Upgrade because it has the corner <laughs> OB. So I already yeah. have this. But you gotta get pristine. This is a must-have if you like weird discs and even weirder music and cats, of course. What's because, with the old timey uh, photograph? Well, that's the weirdest, creepiest part about this disc. <laughs> Thank you for asking. You're welcome. It's like almost like we practiced. Yeah. <laughs> There's like a straight up slideshow because it's like, you know, it's like some of those discs where it's encyclopedia style where you can, yep. you know, just step ahead and see things. Well, this is like creepy old timey photos with cats involved. And they're just like, you just step and look at photos in silence that are really terrifying like weird. Just, <laughs> super weird and then you there's definitely need stuff. enhancements for that <laughs> <laughs> this one has like cats meowing twinkle twinkle little star oh my god um, you know such such hits here so this is really worth seeking out because it's so weird and um Cat time this is Japanese only. <laughs> is it even digital or is it like old analog um, audio? I think it's analog. It's from 85. Yeah. yeah, that's vintage. But it's, um, yeah, it's well worth it. The back is cute too. All the right. The newspapers. There's a but, sealed copy for sale in the Netherlands right now. Oh my gosh. Ah. Well, I will, I, I will, uh, I, I will have my second non OB copy of it. Ilya's going to buy that. So immediately. Say he's on, he's on <laughs> marketplats.nl so right good. now. He's so good that one. Okay. So these next ones are via Germany, via Seth, via Ryan as well. Okay. This was a thrown. Oh, nice. I love the Chippendale action. Chippendale, the quality Disco Vision one. See what that's like. These are my dude, Feebles. Yes, yes. excellent. It's been over a year that I have waited. For oh man, arrive. it was like early COVID time that I had oh, yeah. this and this. Oh, just street trash. That's all. Yeah, right. From the same seller. And Damn. so, um, I had. I was going to send them here from Germany, but they're just like the shipping yeah, cost. Like, it was crazy yeah. and like they couldn't send anything. And so I was like, well, um, can you send it to Seth? <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> so he sends it to Seth and I'm like, well, at least it's safe. And at least Seth has it. I'll see it eventually. And so yeah. eventually is now like, <laughs> I can't believe to have, have this. I had the um, Japanese one uh, via yeah. Big Bill. And um, it's now back to Big Bill. <laughs> oh, nice. Back when I got this one. so And they didn't make that many of those Dragon releases, right? A oh. couple hundred, maybe? Something oh, like that? Yeah, this is like... hundred or a thousand. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty much hard hard to come by. And, I mean, this, unfortunately, is PAL, at least for me. I don't have a PAL player yeah. yet. But I have... I'm really stoked on this. It says 97, so... Feebles is still, like, such a, like unreleased movie like it's i've got you know crappy dvds of it that are just kind of sketchy like there should be a criterion collection by now I but know. Yeah. by now i mean geez yeah come on <laughs> if you love lord of the rings you'll love meet the feebles yes and puppets and, and puppets. yeah <laughs> so 
Uh, yeah. Trevor, where's Trevor? Yeah, Trevor's. This is Trevor's running, right? This yeah, he should it. be here. This is cute. <laughs> it's Ski Patrol. I love nice. it. Yeah, he actually you sent me the link for that one, so <laughs> he actually really. Ooh, humanoids. Nice. I had for the, the longest time thought I had this, had literally marked it as in my collection on Laser database. And then when I moved and I went through all my stuff and I'm like, well, where is this? Like, mm. I didn't have it. So I had to get it again. If I, I, I might have sold it. I have no idea. I've done that to myself a couple of times. Nice condition, too. Yeah, it's in great shape. Cracker Jack. Jack. All right, who's in this? Like- He's like, in the sights. Oh, Thomasine Griffith, nice. Nastasia Kinski, and Christopher Plummer. Damn. No, I like, demand to go first like next time. Movie. I can't. I can't follow Max and Ryan. This is crazy. <laughs> no, you're just going to help bring it all down to earth for us. <laughs> I, I need guess. to kind of come back down. <laughs> I have a, co- a couple more. Where, yeah. Where's that Cracker Jack from? Is that like a oh. Asian or something? Oh, oh no, you stumped oh. Ryan. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Ryan's on <laughs> eBay right now. <laughs> you know what? It says designed in USA. You, hmm. you win a prize if you own something Ryan does. That might be yeah. Taiwan. Ooh, snap. Does, is it, does it say TKT on the side, on the spine, okay, or on the disc? Yes, it's TKT. That's, that's <laughs> Taiwan. That's Ooh. nice. I was like, I've seen that movie, and I have that movie, but I've never seen that cover. That's wow. Amazing. I can see oh Grant, my Ryan's turning green with envy. I feel like a round of applause is in order. I'll have to trade you for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. We could. We could, tr- we could swap if you really want it. This has John Bon Jovi, so I obviously had to have this. Widescreen. Yeah, that's like a serious release. That Why well, have I not fun. seen that before? I, it's John Bon Jovi. I mean, everyone's keeping this one. Yeah, that's high quality. I mean, this just looks a little sexy. Yeah. What year this is that? Like mid-90s or something? Came out in 96, released in 98. This is, yeah. It, says yeah, so it looks lady. Yeah. It's weird late release, John Bon Jovi. With a gun. We have gun. All right. John Bon Jovi action. <laughs> I mean, he is wanted that. dead or alive, so. <laughs> so good. We'll go out in a blaze of glory. He will. <laughs> oh my what god! What have we here? What in the this bloody is, hell I'm, is this? Oh god! Yeah, this is a re- yeah I have no idea. <laughs> it's a good movie. Wow! It's I've never. Place. Is, is seen that it. like before Halle Berry became famous? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Why was she even this movie? This is so weird. A dream can make all the difference under the sun. Okay. Or the storm. Is that like, it's weird that deluxe widescreen looks like a Columbia house or not Columbia house, but like Columbia TriStar. Yeah. I mean, this is a really, yeah, this is super weird. Huh. It is Columbia TriStar. It is. All right. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Round of applause for it too. <laughs> yes. The okay. genre on that's family, so I have no idea what it is. Oh, okay. It looks kind of like a car, like a slot car racing movie. I have no idea. <laughs> really excited about it now. <laughs> okay, wow. I have some little baby ones. What is this? Full spectrum oh, sharp vision to a little eight inch here. Sick. This oh, is this... demo and training. Man, Sharp had some cool stuff around that. They had like a little video projector that was pretty badass, and yeah. Is that like a camcorder they're hustling on the front? I'm not sure. I haven't watched yeah. these yet. I That's love cool. these little weird ones. Okay. This one says it's an audio reference desk. Proton. I've seen some Proton players before. Yeah, I have too. I don't have one, but I know I don't I've never had one either, but I've seen them. Weird. I don't even I don't even know if they're rebadges or if they're like I don't know what they're come from. Weird. Cypress Cal wow. Cypress, California. Cool. All right, report back. I will. Yeah, this one is a cute little little itty bitty cover. Let's see what this is. Sharp Vision Video Pro oh, right. Four. Just a single side guy. I love the I love the labels. That's cool. But it's yeah, it's funny to me because it's Pioneer, but then it's Sharp Vision. So. <laughs> yeah, back in like '95, I, there was this Sharp Vision projector I wanted to get so bad, but. But it was like you know 1995 money it was expensive oh, yeah. it was it was a few dollars <laughs> yeah <laughs> didn't happen i think wow i feel like that's i guess that's all of them all right all right peter you got to bring us back down to earth <laughs> okay Elia, you're gonna appreciate my normal old man discs over here after this stream <laughs> of one of a kinds <laughs> so i've kind of stopped collecting Elia, and I, i'm talking to you because 
Well, yeah. I got most everything I need or, or I want. I don't. I get it. I, get it. I, I don't want to have to move out of my garage like Brian did. You know, I, my wife wants to put cars in there at some point. So I'm basically been collecting DTS and I've been collecting Criterions. I actually finished off all the, the DTS films in the last couple of months. Oh, OK. So screen, oh, these nice. are the, the hard ones to get. But these are just, it's just a common compared to all these other things you guys have. Nice disc, though. It's a real nice disc, the uncut the, version. Yeah, uncut. I got Dark oh, City. Nice. Ooh, yeah, the, the, that's a, the funny that's a thing flex. is I I watched forever to to get one of these to come up on eBay and and since I bought it I think there's been three or four just up yeah. for regular auction. That's yeah. still pretty pricey. Yeah, yeah they all keep happens. going for stupid money, but it's. Yeah. I mean, I waited forever and then all of a sudden there's a bunch of them. Shout out to Donnie for ruining that disc. Yeah, everything comes <laughs> in in weird waves like that though. <laughs> and then, uh, funny enough, this is what finished off my DTS collection. Nice. Wow. Rob Roy. Oh, it's glossy. Mine's um, the AC3 is matte. I'll uh, oh, interesting. probably yeah. never watch it. The only reason I open it. Oh, it's going to. Oh, yeah. I hate that. The only reason I open it is because I don't like the sealed ones because they start crunching up the corners and everything yeah. that, when the thing shrinks. You should watch it. That movie's badass, man. I keep telling you. It's badass. It's a what cool is, movie. Liam man. What's, it, what's it about? <laughs> like it's a bad it's, Braveheart. It's, yeah, it's basically yeah. Rob Roy, he's this guy, and he's you know dealing with um, Tim Roth is this slimy evil bastard in it, and all these like you know evil corrupt government officials trying to take his land and and kind of pretty much choke him for extra cash. And are so, there you know, stealth Nazis? Yeah, and there's secret Nazis all of a okay. sudden showing up in in Scotland, and, and maybe, he just pretty much doesn't take it and starts you know kicking ass. And maybe I'll check it out. Yeah, I mean it's got a killer score, and yeah, and then I got a who was uh. Who was our guy that was collecting the Criterions, hard and heavy, and Donald? Donald, oh, yeah, yeah. So I got Double Suicide, which I guess is one of the later ones, and kind of yeah, hard to get. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah. And I just got this one. I have no idea what this even is. I just know it was on my list. I've got about five or six left to go for the Criterion. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Bodhi Dharma's. Why has Bodhi Dharma left, left for, for the, the East? East. Yep. Yeah, I figured you would know this. It's another <laughs> one that'll never be watched, but for completion. Yeah, watch Rob sake, Roy before that. You'll like Rob yeah. Roy. There it is. I have a couple of uh, non laserdisc things. If you'd like to get into a little mad VR discussion. Ooh. Well, yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna grill you a little bit during the uh, in between segment too. But yeah, show us your pickups at least now. So basically, yeah. uh, had to build a, an HTPC that I replaced my Lumigen video scaler with for a. a video scaling on the HTPC with a program called Mad VR. So this is a capture card to uh, to take the HDMI in at 480p and upscale it to 2160p. And then... Did you have to stand in line and fight some kids to get that? Or? Not for that, <laughs> yeah. but for this. Oh! <laughs> oh! I am so after a new graphic, uh, graphics card right now. I cannot find them anywhere in Unless I want to pay fifteen hundred euros or something. Oof. Well, I got lucky with this one at a micro center where a couple of months ago you could still get in line if they open at ten. You could still get in line at nine, mm-hmm. eight forty-five, and and still be there close enough to the front if they actually got a shipment that day. Now there's people just camping out, and it's gotten <laughs> way more out of hand. Mm-hmm. But Elia, I don't know if you know about Mad VR. This is it's basically AI powered upscaling that you, that's GPU. Yeah, and it uses the GPU for the upscaling. So I got this 3070, which does uh, everything I need for the upscaling. 3070 is the same card I'm after, but here, all the shops, like comparable shops uh, to of Micro Center, they jacked up the price to mm. ridiculous levels. They like scalpers right now. Micro <laughs> Center oh actually started doing that too. They, they, I think you can walk into the local Micro Center right now and buy 6900 XTs, but they're $2,500. Oh and those are like twelve ninety nine. Like the red double ones are like twelve ninety nine MSRP, and they're they're. I mean, I guess they're they're figuring what the heck. People are just going to buy them and, and triple the price on eBay. Why not sell it like that? And then yeah, we'll just scalp it from the start. Yeah, cut <laughs> yeah. up cut up the scalper. <laughs> yeah, that's so, crazy. That's what I've got for pickups. All right, awesome. all right. What you get anything lately, Ilya? Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, not a thirty-seventy, else? apparently. <laughs> no, not that one. I'm still, I'm still hoping. Uh, one of the recent pickups was uh, the special collection trilogy. Oh, nice. rad! Yep. 
So the, this is the first. This is the first package that arrived with FedEx, which oh, was nice. yeah. very fast and not expensive. Yeah, here's the problem. Now you're going to be spending a lot more money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's the. I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. Nice. Oh. Empire Strikes Back, and of course, the Return of the, De- of the Return of the Jedi. Yeah, those are great. Those are the most the, the best looking sleeves and just outside like display things I think of, yeah. of any yeah. disc almost. Yeah. Those are just beautiful. yeah that gold embossed special yeah. collection. It's yeah, cool, man. It's awesome. And there's another one uh, that I picked up. I was after this bloody box set for three years. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, look at the third. Uh, uh, hang on. Oh yeah, uh, the Castle of Cast- C- Caglicio. That's uh. The cool. one that Hayao Miyazaki was uh, working on. That's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, the this is one of the two box sets, uh, Lupin box sets for in from Japan that have uh, English dub on the uh, on them. Nice. So I have the uh, I had the mystery of Mamo for a couple of years now, and I finally got this one. So because the set is finally complete, uh, when I saw this one pop up, uh, I for, it had it had a buyout price, not an, not an expensive one, but I jumped all over it immediately because uh, I thought if I'm not gonna buy it then, then I'm gonna wait for another three years. Yeah, I gotta get that. I just have the the boring CLV single disc, you know, <laughs> one. So. And then of course a lot of uh, uh, other pickups on DVD and Blu-ray, uh, but those are for the in-between part. Yeah, we'll save that later. <laughs> cool. Excellent. Well, um, yeah, normally we do the mailbag, but eh, we'll kick that to the curb. I want to, I want to ask Peter a little bit more about his whole mad VR adventures. This will count as uh, like a hot topics kind of thing. Cause you've been uh, finding new ways to enhance, you know, not just 4k and Blu-ray and DVD and et cetera, but you're using it for laser disc as well. Correct. Yes. So I set it up originally just to, to play with it. Cause I've heard everyone talking about, it. they actually have a commercial product called the mad VR envy, which is yeah. essentially a, a PC with, you know, custom software and, and lockdown and everything, but I've been hearing about it. So I set it up and, and, and realized that for tone mapping for tone mapping 4k, it, it was every bit as good as my Lumigen. And then for upscaling 1080p Blu-ray or HD DVD, it was every bit as good or probably better than my Lumigen. So I ended up selling my Lumigen processor. I kept the, home theater PC. And I, I just, it kept kind of, there's got to be a way to do this with laser disc. So that's where I got the, uh, the capture card. So y- there's two ways you could do it. You either get an HDMI capture card, or you can get a capture card that takes S video or composite video. Either way you can, you can use it the same. I, I have one, a video card that has composite and it. it doesn't have a very good comb filter. The one that's supposed to have a, a really good comb filter is the it's an HD 750 or something it's called. I, I can't get it to run under Windows 10. It just crashes every time. Some people say they have success running it because it's like a Windows XP hmm. era hardware and it doesn't run on Windows 10. So what I do with this one basically is come out of the Crystallio 2 with HDMI 480p and then just use Mad VR and the HDPC to do the upscaling, which it's, I mean, it's really, really good there. It's, it's AI-based upscaling. So the way the guy designs the program is he takes say a, a 2160p picture the computer knows what that looks like he then downscales it to say 720p or 480p and then the computer knows what that looks like and it kind of figures out an algorithm to get from one to the other hmm. so it's it's really really high quality stuff but it's very very gpu intensive and there's a lot of different settings that you can do there's there's different levels of upscaling you go like medium high really high and and you need a high-end gpu to do it at the best quality kind of depending on what you're watching like if you're watching a uh, a dvd that's going to ivtc to 24 frames per second it's it it doesn't take that you can do like a 1080 ti or something like that and it'll no problem because it doesn't have that many frames to work with. If you do uh, laser disc, the problem is I've never been able to, and everyone, all the capture guys say you can't really IVTC that on the fly. So you end up with uh, 30 frames per second or 60 fields per second. I, I always get the fields and frames mixed up, but it's got yeah. just enough extra frames there that like the 1080 Ti wasn't really keeping up with it because it's got to process more. It's the same with the 4K. If you watch what's the one that's 60 frames per second, Gemini Man. 
Yeah. The, thir- okay. the, thir- the 3070 can't even, you can't watch it with even that. You would, I don't know if a 38 or 3090 would even do it because it just stutters crazily because it can't handle that many frames. D- didn't you have like a 3090 for a minute, but it was like a jet engine? Yeah. It, well, it was, uh, it had the GPU wine. So I, I tried yeah. a few different video cards because I was trying to, figure out kind of where the sweet spot is and the way that the prices are it's ridiculous even if you buy one on ebay mm-hmm. two weeks later it's worth 200 dollars more so you, you're you're <laughs> yeah. not you're yeah. not losing any money so i've tried yeah. 1080 ti i've tried 3090 i've got i settled on the 3070 i've got a 6900 xt actually in my gaming pc they don't work as well as the nvidia cards i think the the guy that designed the program designed it more around the nvidia cards because they have the like the ray tracing they have more cores and he 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 integrates that into his program so the nvidia cards are kind of the way to go if you wanted to set it up 1080 ti maybe not with all the settings i i I didn't wasn't able to try the 20 series cards just because you can't buy them at a reasonable price if you can get a i mean a 3070 at retail i forget they're only like only but they're like 599 or something like okay. that if you, if you could yeah, find one I at, wish. if you could find <laughs> yeah. one at msrp it's actually very reasonable i mean you considering that i replaced a, a four thousand dollar forty five hundred dollar video processor with an htpc that's twelve hundred dollars or something yeah. and, it, and it does a better job to me than uh than the lumigen processor so yeah. i took all of my physical UHDs, 4K discs, I ripped them all into hard drives because you, you can play the discs real time, but I, I set them up to where they're ripped on the hard drive and you can, you know, just pull them up with Kodi or XBMC, whatever, you know, front end program you want to use. But for laser discs specifically, it does a, a really, really, really good job upscaling. So what do you do with the eval board? Do you throw it in the closet? No, I, you, I, I was going to, I was debating pulling out the enclosure I built for the eval board. I took a, a Faruja. Send me a picture. Maybe I'll throw it up. <laughs> yeah, I sent, I took a, a, a Faruja video processor. I stripped out all the insides and then I put my eval board in there. I put my power supply in there. And, and the one thing that the capture card for a PC won't do, it won't do HDCP. If, if you send it any kind of copy mm-hmm. protected signal, it just shuts the whole thing down. It won't do that. So yeah. I, I, built in a, an HTCP stripper inside the Faruja box. I, I put this all kind of in there. So it just, I just plug in the composite in and HDMI out. Mm-hmm. But the, the other problem with this is it doesn't want 480i. For some reason, this, this video card, I don't know if it's this one in particular, this capture card doesn't support it, but it won't deinterlace properly. So mm-hmm. I take the eval board into the Cristalio 2 and just go from the 480i that it's out, that the eval board outputs and let the Cristalio 2 de-interlace it to 480p and then let the mad vr do the upscan so the crystal cristalio 2 works out well because i have two different players set up then i have one run through the eval board and one run straight to the cristalio 2 composite yes so. are they still runcos? using what's that what? are they runcos or are they sony's sony's I a, right i have a runco and a sony hooked up currently i thought i saw you playing the uh, c2ex the other day yeah, that's that's the main. That's my main player. That's the, the that's the one that's got AC3 and everything. That's the one I watch the most. I did order another one of those Kenwoods from yep. Japan that I'm waiting to send a 1 800 big bill. Yeah, <laughs> nice. that'll be another episode. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Ilya, what do you uh, do? You have some DVDs now? Is that what I saw? Yeah, actually, uh, my my setup is uh, consists of two DVDs. Um, it consists of the old model, the okay. second image. Yep. It's a DVD-O of uh, iScan Pro. Oh. And the main processor is the DVD-O of uh, VP20. Hmm. Uh, okay. I actually stumbled on the iScan Pro uh, just by accident. Uh, it was available. It was uh, selling on German eBay. Hmm. And I got it for uh, one euro fifty. Damn. Wow. <laughs> so it was next to nothing. So I just uh, showed, yeah. so I just paid 15 euro shipping and was... Ha- Happy with it, so I just so I just uh, started to test it out. I had uh, uh, the external uh, comp of three D comb filter that filled that um, Peter advised me years ago mm-hmm. uh, from Japan. Uh, it it did a good job, but it still uh, the picture was fairly. Uh, it had enough of those noise lines in it. It was okay. visible, but after I connected uh, the. F- I scan for uh, iScan Pro and connected it uh, to my VP20 true component uh, and also just for the peace of mind, I added uh, those magnetic filters to the cables. Mm, yeah. uh, my picture has become 
silent. Mm. Like it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch. Nothing. Uh, there is no interference anymore. Uh, it's uh, uh, it's it's amazing to watch. And from uh, I'm pretty much at my sweet sweet spot right now. And since I'm not going any higher than 1080p, I refuse to upgrade to 4K. <laughs> uh, if I have an ultra wide dis- uh, ultra wide display that I can pretty much uh, scale even laser disc to 21 by nine. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't. I don't need to go any higher. I'm very pleased with both playing my laser discs, my Blu-rays, my DVDs. So I'm. I'm pretty much uh, all settled. Yeah. Don't talk to Peter. He'll be trying oh, to get here you to get a 4K what, projector. No, no, no. What I was going to say is, if if you're going to get a, a 3070 or, or similar GPU for a gaming PC anyway, you're already going to have the hardware. I went and grabbed the card. It's TV Wonder HD 750. So yeah. these can you can get these for like thirty bucks on eBay. This supposedly, and I haven't been able to try it because it crashes in Windows Ten, but <laughs> su- supposedly has a really high quality comb filter in it. Huh. So theoretically, you could just take your player if you already have the gaming PC, and, mm-hmm. and you could plug a thirty dollars capture card in there and use huh. Mad VR and have really, really, really good results. Really on the the cheap end. Everyone thinks I'm always spending money, but this was a huge money saver for me because I got rid of not only my Lumigen processor, I got rid of my Oppo Blu-ray player mm. and everything is just running off of that HDPC and it's better quality, I think, than I had before. And I saved a whole bunch of money, like thousands of dollars by the time I sold all the stuff I was using before. It's like a Geico well, commercial. You just saved a whole bunch of money on your exactly. uh, computer insurance. Well, for me, it's the thing. I uh, don't want any computer in my media setup. All right. That that's uh, the that's the main thing. So of uh, solidarity, brother. <laughs> well, they they uh, they have HTPC cases that you can no, build in. I, I have a perfectly beautiful built. I have two rigs uh, for on my desk. One actually dedicated Windows XP computer that I use for older programs and older games. Well, yeah, you got some videos the, with those. TV right? Wonder will fit right in there. And of uh, <laughs> and of uh, a very of a very new of a new PC that has. Uh, uh, Ryzen 3600, 32 gigs, RGB up to uh, up the wazoo, and the only uh, slow of a uh, small letdown is the GTX 1060 in it because that's the one that's the thing I want to upgrade. Actually, but you the, could do some if you're just going to 1080p, that that's a that's probably good. Could do some, so you should try out Mad VR just to see if you like it. Because right. the other thing, Sam, as uh, Andy <laughs> oh. Summers advised me, we shouldn't have these things in the same room as our. our viewing area anyway so yeah run all a, that noise run a, and, yep. run a long hdmi cable from your computer to your wherever you're viewing it <laughs> my excuse is i'm moving so i don't have time to mess with this stuff right now so but you're gonna you're gonna <laughs> yeah. have so much more room though in the yeah. new place <laughs> yeah we'll like, see <laughs> if, if i'm doing mad vr how can i use my 2070 to mine bitcoin that's true <laughs> <laughs> uh good time well cool thanks for at least uh taking us through the mad vr world and uh yeah, it's kind of cool that it works with Laserdisc, even if it can't do, you know, inverse telecine like immediately and yeah, deal with that stuff. But it's cool. You and, got and a cap when, card. When Ilya gets the 4K projector, you're going to need something to tone map. So <laughs> you'll be I'm set. Not go- I'm not going to 4K. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Shut them down. Wait, I yeah. just have to ask why. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see. I don't see the value in it. I've I seen all those TVs at the store with 4K, and then I just compared to what I see in 1080p. Uh, I don't see the value to go to go higher, especially because 4K Blu-rays are beyond annoying uh, when it comes to copyright uh, and D- D- DRM. So it will not work with all the sound systems, and I have a perfectly great sound system that I know it's not going to work with. Well, when and you, I refuse when to you, integrate it. When you rip it with with uh, Make MKV <laughs> yeah, for I'm your I'm home not theater PC, <laughs> no more DRM. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. No, but in in all honesty, Lee, it it it's two things. It's the size yeah. of the screen, and it's how far you're sitting from it. There is absolutely a point of diminishing return where you're not going to see anything better than 1080p, and then there's another one for 4K, and there's one for 720p. So my screen is uh, 100 inches, and I I sit probably a little too far from it actually. But there's there's a difference between 1080p and 4K. Not so much when you use Mad VR to upscale the 1080p to 4K. Then they both look the same, but you can you can see it you just at some point when you get the bigger screen you'll you'll go 4k 
if, if only if the bigger screens become 21 by 9 aspect ratio or else i'm not getting it i, I do have, love 21 I, my, nine, yeah. my, my projector screen has two screens built into it one of them drops down as 16 by 9 the other one drops down as 235 to 1 yep Peter, I don't have a wall big enough for. for <laughs> See, this is what happens. He, just, he sells us on stuff. Ilya, you know what Moiki told us? He had a vent in the way, so he couldn't put up a projector screen. Yep. He's like, I, I can't move that vent. <laughs> uh, do you still have a second one of those screens? I gotta, I gotta buy that from you now that I'm moving into a new place. Yeah. Yeah, we can hang uh, it on the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> put, I hear good things about uh, Indiana, Sam. What's that? I hear good things about Indiana, Sam. Like I should go out there? Yeah. I like heard crash and there's, there's room Peter's if you need place. to crash. Oh. I'd be in the home theater basement. I've streaming. <laughs> you watch Death Wish Death Wish with me and my wife. <laughs> ah, yeah. There's All a right. room next to Peter that's just player storage. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just be sleeping on a bed of old players nobody even <laughs> uses anymore. My wife will not let me take over that room any more than I already have. <laughs> she swears the kids are gonna use it someday. Someday, yeah. Is that before or after they move out? <laughs> no. They basically moved out, so I figured I could just claim it. I'm going to start moving stuff out of there. Oh, no, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys ready to get physical, do some physical media stuff? Yeah. Non-laser disc, if you have it. If not, yeah, whatever. I can show some things. Yep. My my internet's been all over the map, so hopefully it'll hold, hold strong. We'll see. Cross my fingers. Mm -hmm. um, we'll do some CDs. I got a little bit of everything. Um, new tomahawk mike Patton's band there you can't really see if you oh, there was tonic oh. immobility yeah it's kind of eh, eh, whatever they always have funky packaging but uh really good stuff and speaking of mike Patton, i didn't get the new mr bungle raging wrath of the easter bunny demo with uh scott ian from anthrax and dave lombardo from slayer on drums and for some stupid reason i had not had a copy of the blade runner 2049 soundtrack which mm -hmm. is essential uh there's two discs and uh yeah listen to that a couple times already and just in case you need some swedish death metal going out for oh, I did. death bloodbath <laughs> uh the fathomless mastery with the uh, bonus tracks on there yeah and a couple of blu-rays uh i got some stuff from hamilton book the third vhs movie vhs viral i didn't have a copy of that cool. and this one i still haven't seen vhs yet. viral straight to vhs well, that's the interesting thing about these is like the whole concept is, you know, these VHS tapes that have all this like super interesting, like haunted, spooky stuff on it. But all the films are shot digitally. They're all like on like Blu-ray and it's like, yeah, viral implies that it's, you know, something on YouTube or something like that. So it's, yeah, it's not very VHS like, but whatever. Anyways, but uh, so I got to watch that one. I've heard mixed things about that. I, I did not have for some reason, Giorgio Romero's probably because nobody liked it, but final uh, dead movie survival of the dead. Um, oh. But it's a nice uh, lenticular slip with some, ooh, wow, there's like cool. a little hand that comes out there and then. Creepy, <gasps> lenticular. Creepy oh. Yeah. So I just had to get it for that alone. Yeah. Um, yeah so it, I'll watch that. Uh, John Woo's red cliff is a really good flick, uh, but I never had the original. Uh, international version which is just two parts part one and part two and uh, they're all together on this release so uh, i think the one i watched originally was just the u.s version where they just crammed them all together which is still uh, you know a good cut but i really just wanted to get get this really epic movie epic war movie and um this is well technically this is the original one i got star trek 2 wrath of Khan. Oh. uh the original versions of these had like like problems some of the scenes were like edited weird and like missing stuff um so they reissued it the original one had like a yellow upc which is also where i got the sick one with the phobie um but mm -hmm. uh they had the the repressed one for super cheap from hamilton book so i just swapped the discs and you tried my... blowing out candles with your subwoofer i haven't tried it yet i gotta i gotta fire this up so do it and um i got the documentary memory uh Ooh, about neat. alien this is like origins of alien it's a little it gets pretty heady it gets into a lot of um you know greek mythology and stuff like that so it's not just about the making of the film but it is pretty fascinating it's from the same people that did that uh, friedkin movie leap of faith about the making of the exorcist which is really good and they did a psycho movie called 7852 all of, just all about the shower scene um so recommend those too but uh i, I did rent this uh, so i was psyched to get a copy on copy on blu-ray 
Oh. And do I get any records? I think I have some records. Hold on. It's, uh, you guys got to wait while I move like ass, tons of crap. Halloween. I didn't. I didn't get any Halloween, sadly. What? Oh my but God. I did see them live in 1989. Does that give you credit? <gasps> How cool! Um, all right, I got some metal though. What you got? All right, uh, reissue of Dark Thrones under a funeral moon. Oh uh, hell yeah! There's a like internet radio station uh, called Gimme Metal here. I think Dave Mustaine is behind it. They made a vinyl club, so for like I don't know, 25 bucks every month you get a reissue of a classic metal release and it comes with like a really intricate pin. And so once I get my battle vest <laughs> denim jacket someday, yes. I'm going to have pins. So I got that and I got a couple others from them. Where are they? Great record. Yeah, yeah here we go. I'm going out of order. Stormtroopers of death speak English or die. <laughs> uh, very, uh, on PC 80s record, but this has all the Gonna bonus say no tracks, comment. <laughs> and uh, it's got um, the bonus material, which is their old uh, demo tape, which is all just songs that are like one second long. Uh, <laughs> hilarious. It's like 45 songs in there. And uh, the other one was High on Fire, which is a really great band uh, from the yeah, the guy from the band Sleep, Matt Pike. This is his band after. Um, this cool. is the first thing they did. So this is like all their old demos and seven inch and their first EP. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, mm. yeah, it's really, really nice release. Making Altman proud. Yeah. yeah. Very metal this time. Uh, oh, some Swedish stuff again. Opeth, yes, a, yes. a reissue um, of Ghost Reveries with from Music on, on Vinyl. Really, really nice release. Uh, I saw them live. I saw them on this tour. Yeah. 2006. I think I saw them on that tour too. <laughs> nice. And uh, I also got the new Opeth, um, uh, I was it in Kauda Venom, Venom, but this is the Swedish language version. So all the songs are sung in Swedish. So they do have an English one as well, but uh, yeah, nice. And then this is the one that made Spencer mad. He, an original 2000, was it 2003 or something? This came out uh, Queens of the Stone Age uh, songs for the deaf nice. on Epic Hack Records. And uh, this thing, I got it for next to nothing, but apparently I found out later it goes for quite a few dollars so i really looked at i i thought it was a reissue but come to find out it was the original and apparently there's lots of like bootleg knockoffs but that's the real deal double wally and it's not double wally but it's <laughs> it's even better um then original cult electric love oh, cool. this record it sounds so much better than the cd sorry cd i mean i i do like the cd too but it's just so much like more like open and i don't know the cd just sounds like the air got sucked out of the room and uh, this is like a collection of demos and stuff. This band Death from Detroit. There's a documentary about these guys. It's basically they were like punk rock like three or four years before like the Ramones and all these other punk rock groups dropped. Um, so they were just coming out of nowhere. Nobody knew what to make of them. And they just like kind of invented this kind of cool new sound. And so this is they did release one record, but this is like a lot of stuff they were working on leading up to it. So oh, cool. it's called Spiritual Mental Physical. And uh a book just for Vinny. I'm partially through it. It's called Room to Dream. It's a biography by David Lynch and Christine McKenna. Ooh. And the cool thing is they they co-wrote it together. And um, she writes out. Uh, yeah, Peter's favorite. But the Ugh. cool thing, it's, it's like every chapter is in two parts. She writes the, the biography like it was any normal biography. And then with all the details and the timeline and everything, then he reads that and then writes his own follow-up to it. And then tells you all the interesting little stories and kind of fills in the gap. So it's like no other biography I've ever read. So it's wow. really nice. You know, pretty hefty book. I see that picture. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Should I save my recommendation for later, Ryan, or drop that now? Drop it. All right. Uh, it's going to be too late by the time this airs, but uh, just for May day, I recommend watching the original the wicker man not the nick cage wow. one sorry There's ryan maiden yeah the, right yes <laughs> i'm gonna sing it but i don't want to get busted from uh yeah youtube <laughs> good song uh but yeah this is the old sick uh, wooden case one that anchor bay put out uh which has the, the what the pres like 11 minutes of extra footage and all that stuff so yeah so it's got two different cuts of the film and uh 
Dolby Digital and everything. Ah, great, great film. And uh, some good songs in there. Lots of good, like, kind of creepy folk music and everything like that. And, uh, yeah, uh, Christopher Lee kicks ass in it. The Equalizer, he's a punk. He gets his comeuppance. But, yeah, you got Robin Hardy's The Wicker Man. It's classic wow. stuff. So, in celebration of May Day. That's my recommendation. What do you got, Ryan? I got a couple things. Uh, let's start with uh, some sweet uh, Dollar Tree pickups. Oh, here we go. Uh, the Warlords. So yeah, I've seen that, the way. I, <laughs> what? It was a buck. It's got Jet Li in it. Can't be bad. Yeah. It yeah. looks cool. Yeah, and it's it's one of the sweet magnet releases. They seem to make some pretty decent movies. Yeah, I think they made a couple of mine that I showed. 88? I don't even know. She's holding a gun on the cover, and it was a void. I like how it's it's trying to make you think it's a Kill Bill movie because it had the eighty eight killers and it's got the color scheme. Hey, it's like listen, a advertisement. Yeah. Uh, Eden oh, Hall, nice. Yeah. Another magnet release. I, I if it says magnet on it and it's at Dollar Tree and I don't have it, I just buy it because that's cool. Weird sci fi stuff. Check yeah, it out. like I, all their stuff is ridiculous. So mm-hmm. it, you know, even if it's bad, it's not bad. The uh, Superman oh, Four. Speaking oh, of bad, yes. yes. Yeah. This so, is the best of the best. Yeah. <laughs> Again, if it's a dollar, why why yep. wouldn't you? Uh, a wall seventy two. Oh, it's, it's got, got RZA, RZA and Lucas. Wow. Yeah. Damn. So, and then uh, a few non dollar tree pickups. Shout out to Luke for Strangler of the Swamp. Me. So that was, was burned on the Blu-ray, two. wasn't it? No, this is a really small company. Um, what's that burned the Blu-ray? Blu-ray? Yeah, sitting in someone's <laughs> yeah. basement. Pretty close, but uh, they they've got like a site, and they're they're all really small runs of like I don't even know. This might even be public domain, but uh, I haven't watched it yet. And then I got this uh, Blu-ray, Chuck Norris in mm-hmm. Forest Warrior. Forest Norris. <laughs> yeah, Chuck Forest. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, this one came out in the Laserdisc era, but uh, apparently the company's messed up and never released it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like, That's a movie where failure. he rips a chainsaw with his hands. Yeah, I mean, he's Chuck Norris. <laughs> and then I got, I got one other Blu-ray uh, that we should spotlight. That's uh, oh my gosh. Yes. Wonderland. Are you wearing the shirt? Oh, oh my yeah. god. I love so, it. This movie is amazing. And uh, Nicolas Cage has zero lines okay. you know he's the star Work, so. working for uncle sam oh yeah he's <laughs> i think he's paid off uncle sam at this point but uh it, it's it, it's a great movie i i got it right away on bod and yeah, I, I pre-ordered he has a new wife so uh, uh yeah who's he married to now he still needs the money yeah <laughs> well it was funny because there was an article that came out about him he was showing his wife his star on the Walk of Fame. Like, oh, 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 here's mine. Like, right. <laughs> oh, there, was, there was just a story about Robert De Niro where he's been working so much and he's got to keep working to support his wife before they yep. get divorced. Yeah. <laughs> Sucker. And then I got <laughs> oh, uh, oh, nice. Mania book. Hulk Hogan, wow. America's Hero. Shout out to Vinny. Apparently he Hardly. had an extra copy of this. Um, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Required reading. Yeah. yeah. Sure and I, I, got a, lot. I got one record and it's oh, an yeah. old man record, but it's the Tom Petty finding wildflowers, alternate versions. Dude, it just came out by that. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Too um, old man for Peter. Too old man for me. Oh, man. Well, it, it, it's a great nineties album. If you yeah. like Petty, like it's one of his better albums for sure. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, there's an alternate take, which was supposedly exclusive to like the bigger, more expensive box set. And then they're like, well, we're just going to release it for everyone. <laughs> yeah. So shout out to all the suckers who bought the box set. And then for that track. And, yeah. <laughs> Oops. How about you, Max? All right. Well, I don't know if I showed everybody my dope shirt. Oh, yeah. Show the shirt. I got to show my Elite by Pioneer. Crazy. Now, now, do you have a reference player shirt? That's like the Ooh. only thing you need. Oh. <laughs> With the cursive. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> We might have to print cost, custom make one. Yes. Okay. And I have, well, I got a different TV and I figured I should show my new TV because it's huge and it's a DLP. I was going to say that's rear projection. Yeah. For 4K. No. <laughs> Sorry, Peter. I went backwards. 
<laughs> I had a 2012 plasma, but when I, and on my new wall, it looked like a little itty bitty peanut. And I was like, yeah. how can I have this little peanut TV when I have this yeah. big wall all of a sudden? So I found this at a thrift store and it was literally like $25 um, because it was so big that they were like, please get this out of here. Yeah. Those are just <laughs> like CRTs now. Like, yep. <laughs> I was just like, I mean, it's, it's funny. It makes popping noises just randomly whenever it damn feels <laughs> like it. That's it's the like, color like, wheel. Yeah. yeah. Just like, <laughs> but it is, a, I mean, it is glorious. I hooked mm. up a ra- uh, the little raspberry pie and playing some Tetris on it. Wow. Look at you. Killing it. So I see I you have- did some painting too. The, the wall behind it looked. I did. I did the green yeah. and yeah. I, I, I can possibly show. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the photo. Mm. I have wood paneling. I added wood paneling to my house. <laughs> yeah. You got to class the place up. <laughs> I classed it up. I, well, I have my pioneer. It just goes halfway power. up the wall, right? Yeah. No, no, no. It's the whole wall, the whole wall. is wood paneling. Yeah. And it's trimmed at the top with the wood too. But it matches my simulated wood pioneer stereo tower nice. that all my players are in. So must have. Seth would be proud. He's a big fan of the wood paneling. Oh, good. I'm so People moving the houses and make them it. modern. Max moves in and makes yeah. it old. <laughs> Rolls them back. <laughs> I'm rolling them back right now. Oh my gosh, so true. Okay, so I have I have some DVDs. Okay. Ooh. All right. Those are great for Mad VR. Oh, awesome movie. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Should have won it the was, Academy Award. It really should have. But man, did this really take me to a dark place? Woo! Yeah. That was uh, that was different. I had only seen part of it. That was my first real, actual, full viewing of it. I mean, he's. So good. Yeah, yeah. totally should have wanted something. The about. Necro Butcher is a real person and he is crazy. <laughs> nice. Ooh, it's pretty nice. I got that one. Nice. You? Oh, In man. a jewel box. A little yeah, ripper. Freaking cool. I liked this. I mean, I like the case alone, but yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm stoked for Priest anytime. I Ripper won- does Halford better than Halford. Yeah, he does good. <laughs> Oh, nice. nice. Divimax. Divimax. Nice. <laughs> And that's I, got the kind of cut cover, right? It's got like that. It's got yeah. like Velcro. Ooh. It's got like a whole like. Oh, it's oh, it's got something in here. Oh, that's that's Ooh. a sweet release there. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, this was oh, it's got DTS on it. Yep. I yeah, they that. Anchor Bay would throw that on everything for a while there. It was it was cool. I'm stoked on it. I mean, that's the crown I jewel of my Divi Max collection. Really? Well, mine is the Dawn of the Dead Ultimate box, but oh that's close. Wow, I feel really cool now, guys. I didn't even know that it was that cool. Yep, now you now you're in the cool kids club. You need to look for know. Divi Max and keep... Super Bit. Yep. Okay, I'll keep eyes out for them. Yeah, I literally like just it was like it was inexpensive. And it's Day of the Dead, yeah. Yes, and I was like, okay, all right. <laughs> and then um I got some little twin peaks. Oh, sick. These came in something and they just fell out of like a twin. I forget which one it was. I think it might have been Firewalk with me. That it was just tucked inside like someone had saved these. Is it just like all like premiere stories yeah, and stuff like, about it? This, huh. this, yeah, this one looks like it's like an episode guide or something. Damn, that's kind of cool. Introduction and like a little like like episodes and characters. Oh, is it Japanese or yeah, from the US? All, all pretty much Japanese. Wow. But I'm just like really stoked on it. Like the pictures alone are really cool. I've never oh, seen yeah. it. Obviously, just a classic. Poop. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. This was also in there. It's folded. But there was like the Twin Peaks. Oh, damn. With like a VC. Is that VCRs for sale? What I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, that looks like those. It says super. Yeah, VHS. Yeah. Super digital VHS. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this has like the map. Oh, nice. Of like the town. Wow. Yeah, that's, this, ba- that's badass. Yeah, this was like really cool. And then there's like merch, hmm. like Twin Peaks merch in there. But I just thought that was super cool. Same kind of thing, just like little character photos and such. But Damn. the map and like the freaking merch you could have gotten, like the coffee cup. I mean, where is yeah. all this? Like, where is all this? I want to know. Yeah, that's cool. I want to buy, yeah, I get some. Right? There's a bunch of merch you can get now, but I don't yeah. know. I want no, some. I mean, stuff. like, original log lady shirt like yeah. where is that <laughs> and then i too got some required reading Ooh, that's yeah that's beefy this is one 
Um, I mean, Doug Pratt has no. done many, many uh, review books. I haven't um, seen that one though. Is no, that... this is this is the one I I, I have all the other ones. There's a, like a pink one and a red one, yeah. and then this one is completely different size. That's <laughs> like, crazy. Is that is like is the like, first one? Maybe it might be the first one. Um, it says. 87 1987 yeah damn but um yeah i did the best and worst this has some freaking whew, i like this guy's taste he's funny um yeah. my favorite was reading about the um friday the 13th oh yeah which so it's basically like telling you which one's current at the time pretty much and it's uh, this is for uh part five a new beginning mm-hmm. there are now enough friday the 13th movies on disc to hold a dusk to dawn Friday the 13th slumber party. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing in the series will ever equal the classic scream inducing cut, which came at the end of the first film, but that was enough to stimulate the success of every blood drenched sequel. I just, he's great. Oh. And so, 87 too. Imagine like yeah. thinking of like a retrospective of laser disc, but <laughs> in 1987, that's literally what this <laughs> yeah. is. And like, there's some just like real, like he'll, He'll talk about imports. I mean, there mm. was some in here where I was like, what is that even? Like, I've never even heard of that. Cat so, time? Yeah. Well, <laughs> um, I've heard of cat time. <laughs> Everyone nice. really should go out. That's seriously, my recommendation is going to be yeah. cat time for sure. Like, nice. can't go wrong with cat time. I really wish I could, like, give you a clip because there's, like, some bizarro business that happens on that disc where you're, like, what am I watching? Like, Send it to Peter. He'll rip it with this new uh, capture card. Oh, that might be worth it. People got have to watch it. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's... Um, that's well, well, add that to Vinny. We mentioned uh, Vinny's bookshop. We're bookstores yes. before, but he's got a little list of all the books that we've recommended here. So if you want to... That one, you're on your own probably. But uh, <laughs> oh, I think you can probably find my David Lynch book if you want to yeah. go reading that. So... <laughs> Uh, what's uh, what do we got, Peter? Are you buying anything Blu rays or all right? I went back to my shelf to put the hard sell on Elia. So, oh, Elia no. 4K, <laughs> don't, don't buddy, listen, man. Don't buddy. listen, Akita. Oh, that is a nice box, though. You, you gotta, you gotta do it. <laughs> I, I, have, I, have, I have the spell, I have the special collection on laser discs, so I'm good. Yeah, stay strong. Yes. <laughs> This is this is better than Laserdisc, dude. Unless you have Mad VR to upscale the Laserdisc. Ah. Where are you right now? You're on the wrong podcast. Yeah, <laughs> that's a nice box, though. <laughs> Tremors. Ah, Arrow. Four yeah. K. Nice. Come on, can't beat it. <laughs> Too many Ks. <laughs> Too many Ks. Dial down the Ks. Ugh. Wonder Woman, oh. 1980. I love this movie. I have the love steel it. book. It's downstairs. Absolutely I forgot to bring it, it up. <laughs> Sorry. I saw it like three times. I've really? watched it twice, once yeah. alone and one. I like, talked my High wife five. into watching it and she didn't hate it. Wow. We're the only the only two people that like that movie. I haven't seen it. I, I heard too many bad things to, to where I didn't watch it. All right. Well, well it's in know. 4K Max. So yeah. okay. 4K Thank you. kick right. ass. Nice. What am I doing? nice. Can't beat that. No. <laughs> and then uh 4K New Mutants. I don't know if you can see Ugh. that. I haven't even seen that. I forgot That's about excellent. that. excellent. It's All really right. good. I thought we like weren't a... able to follow up with it for whatever reason, but it's really good. <laughs> it's more like a horror movie, right? No, not really. It's okay. Superheroes. No, I thought it was like all creepy and they were like in a creepy horror lab or something like that. Maybe I'm thinking of another movie. Not really. So Ilya, 4K. It's really, I mean, it's the way to go. <laughs> just That's... just nod and say, uh-huh. You, yeah. you can see the uh, <laughs> back there, really. Those are those are the 4K collection. Yeah. <laughs> cool. That's all I've got. That's it. Yeah. All right. All right, Ilya. Are you getting anything else? Uh, non laser yeah, disc. Um, I will start off with a couple of music CDs. Oh, cool. Um, well, the thing is, um, I have music st- music tastes that go all the way into the di- different directions that you would never expect. Mm. Uh, to start off with a more s- simple one, uh, this is the soundtrack of this big <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> incredible! Nice. And it's actually it's a German one because it has also a German name of the movie Rent a Man. <laughs> Rent a Man, nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And then cool. uh, there's one of my favorite rockers, Marilyn Manson. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. 
It's uh, it's his latest album, We Are Chaos. Mm. Uh, I haven't bu- I haven't been buying CDs for a while, but uh, now I started buying them again. I'm a bit annoyed that they all come in paper sleeves. This yeah, I was gonna say it looks thin, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Uh, then. Good environment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Red Foo. Oh, his, damn. Uh, his only solo <laughs> album. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Party Rock Mansion. Nice. Yeah. Love that jacket there, that cover art. And the last one is actually the, it's just released. Uh, it's from a German techno band that is famous all around the world. Mm. Scooter. Oh, cool. Nice. Scooter of God Save the Rave. Uh, this, is, <laughs> this is really my music. They never stopped making the music they made in the 90s. And that's why I still love them and will buy any album they, re- they release. Nice. Oh, cool. And when it comes to DVDs and Blu-rays, um, there are, there are a couple. <laughs> um, my childhood pretty much summed up. Oh, oh nice. Oh, yeah. Came uh, came in today. The first episode, the first season of Pokemon, the TV series. It's incredible. I love. And it. the only TV series that I that I currently watch, Young Sheldon. Oh, I've only oh. seen like a couple episodes of that. I should check that out more. It's fourth. It's on the fourth season right now. It's a, hmm. I watch it every Friday morning hmm. after it after it's aired in the US. Yeah. And then it's uh, it's a this is a Russian movie. Hmm. It's called Brother Two. Brother Two. Uh, it's a, a very strong gangster movie. Uh, so this is a Western release of it. It has English subtitles. Oh yeah, Tartan. Um, right. Just in case if somebody f- wants to check it out, it f- yeah. it was filmed. Mostly in the states. Hmm. Looks cool. Hey Ryan, is Russia going to be the new hotbed for the laser discs after you get done with uh, Malaysia? <laughs> we know that they they had laser discs, but I don't know if they had any actual movies. Like they may have just had educational or whatever. So probably not. Yeah. And this one is one of my most Ooh. pretty much in a top three spot of my. my all-time favorite movies of all time. Oh, wow. And Great film. This is, the, this is the German exclusive release uh, for a kind of an art. It, they call it an art box. Mm. So it yeah. has uh, it has a book in it. Uh, oh, nice. Uh, the picture, qual- it's actually, uh, I think it's a newer master of the Blu-ray mm-hmm. uh, because I have the original one. Original one is kind of grainy, but this one mm-hmm. is a, a lot more cleaned up. So great, it's much better. great soundtrack too oh Recommend yeah that. i have that also <laughs> and a couple of simple ones nice yeah. Yeah. uncle buck and yeah. also kind of my 90s childhood <laughs> oh yeah so that's and damn thing. and we're almost done uh i was after that for a while mm. Oh, nice. Star Wars Clone Wars. This is the this is the box set one of uh, one through five seasons. Oh, oh damn! Yeah, that's huge. That's, that's cool. Awesome. And this one I imported from the states. Yeah. Oh. And this is the sixth one. It's called the Lost of the the Lost Missions, but it's the sixth season. Hmm. So, so do, you, do you get them from like Amazon or eBay, or do you have like some like local sites? Like, how do you get uh, f- uh, Amazon? Amazon be- uh, just recently became fairly big in Holland. Okay. Uh, but usually for some discs I get from there, but most discs I get from eBay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And last one, this is this is also an exclusive to UK release. Oh, oh nice. 48 hours. In, it's kind of a... Like, oh, nice. Oh, that's awesome. Mock VHS uh, type of a thing. That's pretty, yeah. Oh. So we have some Stranger Things releases here in the States that have a similar vibe. Oh, yeah, I saw that. those. Yeah. That's right. And also I, I recently got... Uh, a book recently it's more of a omnibus oh excellent oh nice great great stuff it's I'm I'm an amazing kind of 4k the... disc Ilya. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of I, course i have uh, i have it both uh, i have watchmen both on dvd and the director's cut on blu-ray so yeah. i'm very happy with it <laughs> yeah that's a great great uh like collection yeah and uh, the last and hopefully not least this is a pur- this is a purchase I make from time to time just for the hell of it. Uh oh. The video CDs. Oh. Oh. We were talking about VCDs. That's funny. 
Yeah, this is the, uh, also lost in translation. I pretty much have lost in translation on every format released. Nice. So wow. that's how much I love the movie. Is that from like Hong Kong or Taiwan or yeah, that, the oh, Hong Kong release? Yeah. That this is like is my fun. favorite. Ah! Heartbreakers. <laughs> this one is that. actually uh, this one is not this one is actually widescreen, but the transfer is awful. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> and that's we got like four lines of resolution. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <clears throat> that's exactly. And this nice. one, uh, uh, the the picture quality of this one is is the best picture quality I've seen uh, I've seen on a video CD so hmm. far. Wow, oh. it's really it's really solid. Nice. So those are uh, those are the recent uh, pickups of physical, nice. uh, other physical media than laser discs. Now you you went to Hong Kong not too long ago, maybe a year or two yeah, ago. I also went to I went to Hong Kong a couple of months before I went to Japan again in 2019. Yeah. So just before Hong Kong went uh, all the way down the crapper. <laughs> did you did you find any laser discs or VCDs or anything? I tried. I tried yeah. to. I actually went to several female stores and asked and asked around. Nobody, uh, pretty much nobody heard about laser discs. Huh, but wow. there, but there were a lot of video CDs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I really tried. I wanted to uh, track down those Hong Kong releases that I still haven't uh, don't have a single one of. Yeah, that's but, good because uh, there's so no. many rental copies. Yeah, but and maybe they all got thrown out or something. But yeah, yeah, probably in the Ryan's that, basement. Yeah, <laughs> what? You know, if, uh, and Hong Kong is also it's uh, it's so humid there. So if those yeah. discs aren't stored aren't stored properly, they're probably destroyed by now. Yeah, yeah, everything. It's lots of not even just foxing but just nasty mold and stuff inside the jackets yeah. and yeah cool man well thanks for uh thanks for sharing and uh let's uh i guess close things out with you know any kind of final thoughts or what you're gonna spin next i am definitely gonna i'm gonna crack open that gundam box and and do part two the next 23 episodes and finalize that get that going uh what about you ryan well i i do have one uh, recommendation. And oh yeah, you didn't drop your recommendation. It's only on streaming, so I didn't want to really. I couldn't show it off. It's there you called go. Theory of the Fist and the Golden Fleece. Ooh. Now, are you ready for this cast? Okay. You guys right. taking notes? I'm sitting down. All right. Danny Trejo. All right. Sam Jones. All right. Cynthia Rothrock. Oh my gosh. Tiny Lister. Wow. <laughs> Richard right, Grieco. Yeah. Richard Grieco. Okay. Bianca Bridget Van Dam, <laughs> Ron Jeremy. Oh my God. Ron Jeremy. <laughs> Bill Goldberg. Isn't he in jail? Goldberg. Goldberg. Yeah, right? Bill Goldberg. Michael Dudikoff. No, oh stop it. Stop Michael it. Winslow. Nice. And a bunch of other people. Don, okay. Don the Dragon Wilson. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It came out in 2018. Okay. It's on free on Prime. And uh, here's the synopsis. <laughs> the biggest porn star of the 1970s must reclaim his mojo in the 80s by saving all male kind fighting and his way let me guess. to the Jeremy? heart of the conspiracy to sell meat pumped full of estrogen to emasculate men <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so uh needless to say <laughs> he's I made peter no leave he's had no <laughs> it was so ridiculous <laughs> But it, it's free on Amazon Prime. So if you're fans of a fan of any of those actors, okay, or Cynthia Rothrock, or I'm just what? amazingly terrible movies, <laughs> uh, put that one on. So okay, that is Fist or Fury of the Fist and the Golden Fleece. Golden yeah, Fleece. I'm trying to think if I had any streaming recommendations, but uh, I just well, watched I that think... documentary about the art art uh, heist in Boston. There, that was pretty cool about the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum, how these guys like stole a bunch of paintings and nobody ever found them. So they're probably in Ryan's garage. I've been binge (laughs) watching uh, Dawson's Creek. Oh, (laughs) nice. Vanderbeek. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Are you singing the theme song in your head all the time now? Uh, Yes, all the time. And unfortunately, on all the streaming services, they do not get the I don't want to wait. What? yeah, they get the freaking like, like this other weird one that I've never heard before, and it's like uh, totally different. I'm like, well, wait a minute, did they change in the second season? Like, no. when 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 is the song coming? And I like googled uh, it, 
it's never coming. <laughs> I was really. I saw her live, but it was before that came out, so she didn't play that song. Oh man! It was like before she was who she was. Yeah. So. <laughs> nice. So yeah, I'm probably gonna watch like Ransom or the Quest, but uh, yeah, yeah oh, totally. I, I had to drop that streaming recommendation for everyone. Yes. Yeah. Why don't I have the Quest? I should have that by now. I I yeah. it's Shall like impossible yeah. to find. Apparently, mm-hmm. I don't know why. Everybody likes it. So. <laughs> How about you, I know I have sudden death, but yeah, yeah. You watching any Laserdisc Max or? Oh, um, yes, I'm going to watch the newly acquired Street Trash because I've never seen the version. And the uh, there was all these like weird parts that were blurred out in the Japanese one. So oh, the optical we'll censoring. See what's going to be happening? This was it was so weird. Like in the Japanese one, there is like a poster in the background, yeah. and they blur it. They did the same with the Metallica making of the Black Album, uh, the year and a half in life. All the the nudie posters in the background are all blurred. Yeah, it's crazy. It's just terrible. Well, yeah. this is going to be how it's rightfully supposed to be. That, uh, now we know why I went back to Bill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he requested it back. Yeah. It was <laughs> just, if you never let it go, you got to yeah. have it, it back. It was a loner. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. I'm going to send my MC Hammer disc back to Peter someday. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> he needs the Jane Fonda next, right? Yeah, I still have that. I can send it. Send that to your other buddy. <laughs> what, what are you watching next, Peter? Well, I've got a couple that I'm going to watch next. One, my son is actually going to be home tomorrow, and he took us class on music and film. Oh, cool. He specifically requested to watch 2001 a space odyssey all right yep now my son is much smarter than i am so i'm hoping he's going to be able to explain it to me (laughs) you might might dig it yeah you never know i've seen it i just i don't get it i don't know what it means i don't know anything about it it's an lsd trip nothing more yeah Uh well we're not going to be doing that and then more on the the peter level i'll be watching oh yeah you got to keep going stuff wish for Yes. Where they battle the drug lords and then yeah. Death Wish Five, of course, the crack they go down. after they go after the mob. So yeah, it goes from the uh, from slightly insane to completely off the rails. <laughs> so you're it. saying that like they did it for Die Hard before Die Hard did it? <laughs> exactly. I think actually by the time you got the four and five, those are basically straight to video, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Like I they don't, just yeah they just gave seven year old Bronson a couple bucks and he showed up and they they made. <laughs> I saw those on cable for the first time. So, yeah. Cool. What about you? Uh, You got anything uh, on tap to watch next? Yeah. uh, For tomorrow, actually, this morning, this uh, for just a couple of hours after this, (laughs) uh, I will go to the post uh, to the post office to pick up uh, a a sea box that I uh, was waiting for from Japan. And I'm I'm not 100% sure what's in this one, but probably is the Ghibli box set and Back to the Future. Oh, nice. Yeah. Box sets. So I will probably turn on one of the Ghibli movies that's in English in, a, in that box set because I never actually paid attention to it. Yeah. There's like some, only some of them in the box are English, right? Well, four yeah. out of 12 of that is, uh, that are in English. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to get a copy of that at some point because it looks like a really nice box. It is. I, I used to uh, own that one, but uh, I sold it last year to <laughs> help my sister buy books for, for our college. Ah, yeah. And uh, now that uh, I'm I'm working again, I can uh, I was able to repurchase it to to add to my collection. Do you still have the video up? I think you had a video where you were showing that, like yeah, years the, ago. The yeah, the video is still the video is still up uh, for well, with all the contents of the of the box set. All right, I'll put a link up with your uh, with your channel. Is it still the Shadow Man? Is that the yeah, name of the channel? Yeah, right, that's right. the same one. All right, cool. All right, I'll put a link up. Everyone can uh, check it out. You got you got a decent amount of Laserdisc videos, and. Uh, PC stuff and you get all sorts of interesting things on there. So thanks. Some yeah. non PC stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I see what he did there. <laughs> I see what he did there. Uh all right. Um yeah, I think that's about wrapping us up. It's uh it's been a good uh good week. Lots of Star Wars talk and uh thanks for joining us, Ilya. And uh thanks for the invite. Uh, yeah, glad glad you can make it and stay up a little late <laughs> and uh <laughs> hopefully you get some sleep. Uh, yeah, yeah i definitely will but uh yeah thanks for everyone out there for watching and uh chatting live during the uh the, the replay and uh yeah we'll be back uh with a very special episode in in a couple of weeks as well so yeah. be and prepared maybe some for that vinegar syndrome pickups peter did you get yeah what's that did you get your vinegar syndrome this month yet i have not 
Yeah, mine shipped over a week ago, and it's like sitting Nothing. in Wisconsin now. Did you watch the one with the uh, Slumlords? No, I, I got it right here. Oh, it's, that's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, I, I, I know it's going to be. I just I was watching some other things, and my wife and I have been like tearing through the old Tales from the Crypt. Ooh, so, yes. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. But, Good uh, stuff. I will get to it. I'm hoping that she like passes out early tonight. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, everybody. Cheers. We'll be back. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye.